two. Hello, hello. We're back, baby. That's right. Another week of H3 Podcast. It's Monday, July 31st, a beautiful summer day. Man, um, it's Wednesday, man. The hottest summer in the history of human recording. Nothing to worry about, folks. <laughs> Nothing to see here, y'all. <clears throat> okay, I, speaking of climate change, um, so you guys have probably heard about this, like, people talk about this. When we were kids, you'd road trip, and there'd be a ton of bugs on your windshield. Mm-hmm. Now, when you road trip, there's almost no bugs on the windshield. I've noticed that phenomenon. You haven't? I I've have for also sure noticed, noticed that. that. Yeah, like yeah. I used, we used to drive and it would be caked with dead insects. And now there's like nothing. I get pretty caked okay. still. I don't. Not to be contrarian, but. You can be contrarian, <laughs> but I, I've, I've seen people talk about this and I've 100% noticed it myself. Interesting. Uh, nobody um, else here? I saw the study you were talking about. It's called the windshield phenomenon. <laughs> The windshield, it's a phenomenon. It is. It's on Wikipedia, even. And so, my initial reaction was like, oh, it's probably just because cars today are more aerodynamic. And so the bugs aren't splatting. They're blowing over the top. Okay. But I read, and I don't know what to believe, but this possibility is really <laughs> effed up. That since the 2000s, when we were kids... There's been a 60% decrease in flying bugs. 60%. Wow. I'm good with that. And you all flying that? bugs. That sounds like great news. That is actually, you're, I mean, that means that basically we're all about to die. I mean, I'm not even kidding. The bugs disappear. That's like 90% of all food in the ecosystem. I, I, I don't like when bugs fly. <laughs> this sounds like good news to me. Landbound bugs are They're gross. Favorite. They're gross. Flying bugs are gross. You think that bell's tolling for the bug stand? Mm-hmm. It's not. Yeah. It's tolling for the humans. You want to go down with the bugs? Or you want to fly with the bugs? But what I, what I would I like mean. to know is which one is true? Because to me, the idea that we're not splatting bugs just because they're not, they don't live anymore is pretty disturbing. In just 20 years, the bugs are all gone. Can anybody fact check that? I feel like it's got to... <sighs> I see th there is a brief Wikipedia article called The Windshield Phenomenon about the observation that fewer dead insects accumulate on windshields than front bumpers in front of cars since the early 2000s. Uh, there was a 20-year study in Denmark uh, from 1997 to 2017 and when they adjusted for all the variables, they found an 80% decline in insects. 80? That's what it says. And is, can, we, can we check that? Like, I almost don't believe it. Can we check the source on that? I mean, it's just some research paper. I'm seeing NPR said that a 60% decrease since 2004. Uh, so, so, we're saying it's the decrease in bugs. I mean, this is very disturbing. Why, why is this not, like, at the forefront of our minds? 60 to 80% of bugs are just fucking dead. Gone. How many animals eat bugs? And part of, and part of the, you know, ecosystem. Birds, Birds reptiles, She's also frogs, died. lizards. Everything eats bugs. What the hell is going to happen? What are we going to do without bugs? <laughs> bugs that are flying everywhere. They're doing impossible things. <laughs> Have you ever sat on a giant piece of shit and feasted on it? No. The flies do that. What other people won't do. They're laying eggs in giant piles of shit. They're landing on shit and then flying into your bowl of Kung Pao chicken. Yep. Does the shit carry from their legs onto the Kung Pao chicken? It's impossible to know. What about the frogs? What do they eat? Moss? The 
turn the friggin' frogs gay! I mean, a moth is a bug. That is genuinely right. disturbing, though. Nobody, moths, nobody moths with me? bugs? Huh? What are, are moths not bugs? Moths are, are bugs. bugs. They are, yeah. Right. Why? Did you say moths or moths? Moths. Because yeah. you suggested moths moth. as an oh, moths. Yeah. Mm. What are they going to eat? Vegetables? Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> Nobody can, nobody's disturbed by that? No, I'm worried about that. Pretty, like, what are you gonna, I'm disturbed by a lot of things, you know what I mean? I only got so much disturbed. Uh. 80% of bugs are dead, you guys. Yeah, lots of things. It's also the hottest year on record. It's also, we're also, we're killing the everything. The coral the ocean is, is literally is full of boiling. <laughs> My body is full the of plastic. The coral is bleached. <laughs> I already deal with a good amount of existential dread, so yeah. I'm just kind of like, eh. What am nothing, I going to do? Yeah, the bugs are like dying. Well, these bugs are gross. When I was a no. kid, the bugs were everywhere. You know eh. what? Global warming is so, so scary. <laughs> Horrible all the way around. If maybe there are a few less corpses of, uh, Insects on my windshield, I'm okay with that. No. Yeah. Uh, Bugs ah! pollinate. Hey. Here right. she comes. Hi, Ela. Well, here. well, well, well. Yep. Ela's here for our big announcement. We were talking before... Oh, oh hi. 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 <laughs> hi. Well, beautiful. Did you know that... We were just talking. I want to get your take on this before mm. the big announcement. Do you have a minute? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> do you remember when you were a kid and you would dr do a long drives, your windshield would be caked in bugs? There'd be mm. tons of dead bugs on the bumper, on the windshield, everything. Mm -hmm. Now, there's no bugs. Mm. Right? This is a known phenomenon, the windshield phenomenon. Interesting. They've done tests, and apparently the reason is, is because from 2000 to today, 60 to 80 percent of all flying insects are dead. Whoa. Is that disturbing? That's crazy. Nobody cares about the fucking bugs, dude. Science is gay. Yeah, not yeah, really. I mean, they're kind of annoying, but that is crazy. It's gonna destroy, it's gonna ruin everything. <laughs> what I guess about the uh, frogs? There, there's already mm. things, like existential things I worry about, so. All right, so which one's better than the bug one? What are you tripping about, Zach? I, I don't know, dude. Birds. Lot birds is one. Leave them alone. Coral bleaching. Well, the birds sure. are going to suffer. Terrifying. The birds are going to suffer from the bugs. And it, what's Anal what are bleaching. those sea urchin anemones? What are they fucking called? Um, hmm. Why are you anemones? worried about sea urchins? I don't know. They're cooler than fucking bugs. They're they are cooler. cooler. That's what, true. What, no, what that's that a fact. No, he's right. Um, are I, they dying or something? Uh, maybe. I don't know. They probably you are. Were, you're having existential dread about dying. sea urchins? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Who's counting the bugs? Are they counting them one by one, or are they making them fill census surveys? Right. How do they quantify that? <laughs> they drive through the country and count how many are fucking dead on their windshield. Well, maybe they're the problem. <laughs> Look at them. They're going out of their way to kill these bugs. Let's talk about all the these damn scientists. Yeah. No wonder there's less. It's the is real it, problem. Is it government-funded institution? Or are they In lacking? Den you know, is the wait, fucking Danish people? It was Dane, Denmark. It, it was you Denmark. Really this this is not here, true. Guys. You've guys. been warning is, us, dude. Is I've big coke involved? Guys, pull it together. <laughs> Fucking Denmark. The Danes eat bugs. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Is it a research by Coca-Cola? <laughs> Is it paid for by the Beverage Association by of Big America? Bug. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. Eli, I don't want to waste your time. All right. You look beautiful. Thank you. I like your outfit. What's going Thank on? Thank you. What, what, what is that on your legs? What is that? They're like little... It's like a, a dress safe kind of undergarment. Cut me between your legs. <laughs> Chill, love. But they are cool. I like them. You're also yeah. partially translucent. Okay. Um, so I came here because I finally got the results. Oh, you did. <laughs> You'll never guess and what And guess they are. what it is. <laughs> because I'm so happy. <laughs> what is it? I'm pregnant. Woo! <laughs> I I 100% knew you were pregnant. I mean, the weekend was so obvious. Yeah. She's like hungry. She's like, Ethan, can you make me tacos? <laughs> She's tired. Mm -hmm. She's hungry. Yep. You were had a headache or something. Yep. That's a big one. If you have a headache, ladies, pregnant. <laughs> Only explanation. But um, there it is. And most of all, I knew you were gonna, it was gonna work, is because it's a boy. Right. Right. <laughs> It's so crazy that the like, Klein boys. we're just so destined to have boys. 
But you know what? I really think that there's a good chance that, I mean, you never know what they might identify as once they grow. Right. But out of three, one might be... So you're hoping that one will be open to changing his <laughs> <Yes>. um, sexual <laughs> identity for you. Okay. Very progressive. Okay, there's Amazing. still a chance. Absolutely. There's still a chance. There's still a chance. chance. I like your optimism. It's so true. Yeah, it's we true. We still have a girl. You, you can still know. have a girl. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see, I guess. That's amazing. The, yeah. Beautiful. That's, 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 <laughs> that's, in, that's uh, optimistic. I like that. <laughs> we'll have to pull them when they're like 18. Hey, so listen, mom's been wondering. <laughs> any girl in you? Who's taking one for the team? <laughs> one of you boys needs a switch for mom. <laughs> yeah. Well, mazel tov, guys. Yeah. Thank Congratulations. You. Three Congrats. boys, man. The third Three time boys. is so different. Like, the first time yeah. was like, we're like on the edge of our seats. Everything's <laughs> insane. It's so crazy. Yeah. The second time was. It's like. Hmm, we're doing it again. I can't remember stuff. Yeah, it was pretty exciting. Yeah. I mean, not that it's not exciting now, but now it's like we weren't even thinking about it. <laughs> and I'm almost not even, I'm only, I'm not even going to know what's happening until that baby's born. You don't even yeah. have to think about it, dude. And there's just going to be. There's going to be zero prep in this house this time. We don't need to. Yeah, We've been having it's like. Babies for like a whole decade now. <laughs> it's like we already <laughs> have everything. It's just whenever the baby's gonna be ready to pop out. Same gender. <laughs> we just mainline them through all the clothes, the toys. Speed run. Leftover diapers, potty training, <laughs> bikes, toy. It's like everything's right here for you. We don't have a name yet. That, that part no, we weird. don't. We, we had a name for a girl from the beginning. Same as, like, we always knew it was Theodore and... Brucey Ducey. And, well, I mean the girl name. Oh, Olive. We already said it, right? Yeah. yeah, we already yeah, we said, said it. Okay. Well, so we it's never... Theodore and Olive. Olive is officially retired. <laughs> yeah. Olive is retired. You can name him Oliver. That's what everybody says. And you know what? Theodore likes it. Theodore is obsessed with the name Oliver. He's like, Oliver? I am not. I'll tell <laughs> you. I'm <laughs> not. <laughs> I'm but not. Oliver naming my Tree. Son Oliver. <laughs> not name your son that just because of I that. I can and I am. <laughs> because, frankly. I like the name Oliver too, and if I didn't know him, I'd probably name. We'd probably think about Oliver. That's what I'm but saying. I can't, I can't do it. It's not worth it. <laughs> I can't give that to him. He'll never shut the fuck up for as long. But it's as kind of is. a perfect name, and Theodore loves it. He's moved on. He's moved on. <laughs> He's moved on. We're like, it can't be Oliver, dude. <laughs> Ethan Junior. People like Junior. Or maybe after their favorite uncle, Zach Lewis. You know. Zach Lewis live at the rock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Throw that in the middle name. I'd be honored, you know. Troubadour. Um, yeah. Some of the other ones we're thinking about was people like Oliver, but I'm, I'm telling you guys, it's not worth it. <laughs> it will be so not worth it. He that kid have will a come monopoly out on that PTSD, name. He, he doesn't own that. He'll come out damaged. <laughs> Other ones we're thinking about is Levi, which I'm not 100% yeah. on. Levi? Oh, you, Let's fucking oh, you like that because of the Attack on Titan. Yeah, that's I think what that, mine, mine goes to as well. That's a solid name. That's a there. pretty solid yeah. name. I'm, I'm like, and then the other one was... Um, There's also the <laughs> singer Levin, Levin Helm, so we always kind of like Levin, but then that went out of the list Levin. recently yeah. too. Yeah, it just sounds like Levin Bread. Which we're against as Jews. <laughs> right, yeah. We're pro matzah. <laughs> Leaven bread, it's when bread rises, you know? Oh my god. So we have we have Levi. Well, what was the other one? Zach we're, Lewis. Uh, Winston. Zach Lew Winston. Winston. I like Winston. That's cute. It's a solid name. That's, you guys like Winston? That's from a... Uh, adorable. Like a baby named Winston. From the, mo the book... Um, Sirens of Sirens. Sirens, yeah. This guy had the best name ever, and I thought it was... Um, so good. And what well, was there another one? Wasn't there? That might be all of our names. Oh, his name was um, Winston Niles Rumford the <laughs> Third. <laughs> Such a great name. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, Winston is might be good. People seem to like that. What about? Um, Which one are we liking? Well, let, let's do a poll. I'm curious what the people okay, think. This do... poll is not binding, for the record. <laughs> no. Okay, non-binding poll. But I... So, Levi... So cool. 
um, Winston. I was, I was. Oliver was still keeping it in the question. I pitched to Ela Shredder Jr. <laughs> he was not kidding. <laughs> Shredder. He Maybe actually, no, he suggested it as a middle name and he was not kidding. Because. What's wrong with so that? So Ethan Nobody was cares. like, you know how when somebody <laughs> passes away, you give the middle name after like a grandparent or something. So he's like, so. Well, if, if something sh happens to Shredder, would you consider doing Shredder as the middle name? What's and wrong I was with like, that? I want to honor him. <laughs> well, that could be for the n next dog. No, you know? I'm not. No. But I don't know that you could do that for the kid. Shredder. I just I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know how they would feel about that. It's a badass name. I'll give him some guitar lessons so it'll, it'll fit. You know, <laughs> he shreds. Yeah, he shreds. I see. All right, what do we have on the um? Uh, Levi, Winston, Oliver, and I, Shredder Jr.? No, no take no. Shredder out. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah. Alfredo? No. <laughs> Alfredo. No, no. Dante? Oh, Alfred. Somebody Wait, do you like Dante? Uh, I saw someone say that. Dante? I like that. Kind of fire. Mm. Now, is that like an Italian name, though? Ooh, well, yeah. Yep. I, I like it. I mean, Dante. It feels a little foreign to me. Well, and which we don't like, right? Just that I don't know if I would, <laughs> I don't know if I would connect with it. Personally. Right, right, right. It's not of your world. I thought you were, uh, I thought you were part Italian, Ela. Two percent. <laughs> yeah. He's 15% Italian. Oh, 15, barely. that's big. That's, you can, you get Italian names at that, yeah. at that point. You're in. You're in the club. You come to me on the day of my son's birth. <laughs> Typing too fast. And you say to me. Walter? Walter, that just makes me think of over the line. Breaking Bad. Walter. All right, let's throw it up what we've got so far. Arthur, no, it just makes me think of Steven Crowder's voicing for the show author. No, Arthur, yeah, yeah. Wait, he did that? Yes. His no. big break, his first job in acting, he was a voice for one of the cartoons on Arthur. What? But he was like a kid, right? When he died. Mm, That's just so Teenager, crazy. I think. Or yeah, I know, man. Nothing. Something happened between Arthur and now that uh, really fucked him up. I have some input um, from your mother, Donna. Oh, great. Oh. She said they should name the baby after Grandma Eileen. Okay. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> that's just, I Do you have any, just that's not, not really Eileen a very Shredder specific Klein. suggestion. <laughs> they should name do you want me to, do you want us to name our son Grandma Eileen? What do you want? <laughs> First name Grandma, middle name Eileen. Yeah. Is, there a, is there a masculine the form suggestion? of Eileen? Donatello? <laughs> that's kind of you know, weird. what's a name that I always loved? Um, Alfonso. Right. Or Alphonse. Alfonso. But then he'll just be Al. Which isn't right. the worst. You can call him Al. You can call me Al, yeah. What about, uh, like, like Xerxes? <laughs> what? Xerxes? Mm. That's what? a strong name. Yeah. Emperor of the uh, Persian Empire? Sure, yeah. Uh, Xerxes. Donna said Ezra? Well, mm, I like that. Ezra Wait, Miller? Is that, is that oh, related Ezra Miller. to Eileen? I don't... <laughs> I don't think so. She bailed on her own <laughs> idea. I don't like Ezra. It's just I don't not like nothing it. personal, kid. Isn't there? Yeah, there's a famous journalist named Ezra Klein, so it's taken anyways. That's true. He's the This American Life guy, right? Right. It's just all I can think of is like some old Israeli men. It's not not the vibe. <sighs> well, throw a, a Louis. Howie. I like a Louis. You said you no to Howie. You said to know it to no. Italian names, and everything you've suggested <laughs> since then has been an Italian sounding name. I like the Italian names. He was the one, the xenophobe. I'm not. <laughs> it's a lot of age. I just didn't like Dante. Sorry. Elliot? Nah. Eli? Nah. It did. I think it's a lot of Jebediah. <laughs> oh. Jebediah Klein. That's right. We Please used class. to sit out here on the porch. Oh, no, no, no. like, I didn't mean to get you started. Slow Please day class. like this. <laughs> Somebody said Howie. What do nah. you think about Elliot? Nah. No. I'm seeing a lot of Freddies. Freddy? Mm -hmm. We already have a Freddy. Alfredo. True. Elton uh, Elton was suggested nah. by your mom. We did think about like that John. at one point. Alfonso. <laughs> Antonio. <laughs> Uh, your dad has a suggestion. He said oh. Elon. Elon? Oh my, that's the most cursed name I could give a child right now. My but, mom would be so happy, though, because it would be after her name, because her name is Ilana. 
Basically Elon. the same. Uh, you know, Elon's not Elon. a bad name, but the vibes right now are not right. Yeah, it's like terrible. it's like naming my son like uh, Adolf. Adolf. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> terrible. It's vibes. not a bad name, really, on face. Yeah. Apparently, it used to be an extremely popular name. And I mean, dude, how many people have just like ended a whole fucking name? He retired his jersey is what he did. Yeah. <laughs> that is a great point. <laughs> I mean, this is an interesting suggestion. Does Ryan Kavanaugh look like HarveyWeinstein.com? Mm -hmm. Fine. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I like that. You know, people Good could, people could um, check it's to see if anybody else has named that by going to Google and searching that, that Yeah, that phrase. would be, uh, yeah. would be a good You do idea. a little research on that. That's a really good idea. Google Ryan Kavanaugh and just look. <laughs> Rupert. You. Rupert. Rupi. Mateo. Atticus. That's nice. I like Atticus? That. I do like that. To kill a yeah. mockingbird. Atticus. Mm. Genghis. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> what happened to Genghis? Bring it back, dude. <laughs> now Bring Gary just back. said uh, Evan. Evan? They, they're really on this E name. Eileen, <laughs> Ezra, Elton, Elon, and Evan are... They're trying? I do like it because it starts with Aleph in Hebrew. Mm. And I do... Generally, I like names that starts with Aleph. This guy. Pedro. Pedro. That's not even Italian. <laughs> Phoenix? What about just like, what if we got real weird with it and you just give them like river? That there's river Phoenix. River is not that weird. You go river. But I never met a river in my life. It's just a thing. You go, it's your river. And people like it. I don't think we're one of those couples though. Cloud. That go for the weird names. Table. Yeah. It's a little too LA. What was your name? It's a little too oh, like Soda. It's so like, I um, like soda. I genuinely like soda. That's for true. a girl. For you a like, girl, you like the letter E, you said? Yeah. Um, okay, I pulled up some E names. Elias. Oh, Urkel. <laughs> Elias? I Elias. think that's a nice name. That's Elias. Cool. Elijah. Enzo. 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 Enzo I like it. Hey, Enzo. <laughs> Elden <seeing>. Ring Klein. <laughs> 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 That's awesome. Yeah, that's sick. <laughs> I'm reading that there's a legal <laughs> baby. Elden name. is kind of a cool name. I don't like Elden. I no, Elden Ring. Oh, Elden? Elden? Without Wait, the ring. Wait, is Elden? Is that a, a real cool name? name? I don't know, but I'm it saying it kind of sounds it. nice. Yeah. Is that oh, a name, Elden? Elden? I don't think so. It is now. <laughs> but he's going to know he's named uh, after oh. a video game now. Elden is a boy's name of Old English origin that means Ella's Hill. Gamers might recognize the name from Elden Ring. <laughs> gamers rise the fuck up, dude. Gamers I rise I up. I the real ones will not. I don't hate it. Also, I like L as a nickname. Oh, yeah. Mm. Like Eleven? I like that. Elden? Mm. Is there anything else that has an L in it that we could maybe play with? Like, other than... I mean, I like Elden, though. Elijah. Elliot. Eli. Elohim. Like Elden is better than all those names. Peace and love to those people who have that name. I'm <laughs> seeing there's illegal baby names. Elio? I, I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> Elio? Uh, illegal? Yeah, you can't name your your baby like blowjob or something. You can't, oh, name, you can't name them King, Queen, Jesus Christ, Santa Claus. <laughs> Okay, you can't name them Jesus Christ. Wait, that's, that can't be. <laughs> that's, I can't, you can't name, name them Queen. You can't name them At. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait. If this is a federal law, you're sure? Uh, let me double check. I can't name my child. What about Jesus? Hey, you should Claus? name your kid Jesus Christ just to spite them. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. You Jesus Christ, the protest. Shredder, Jesus Klein. Christ, <laughs> Klein. Yeah. What, what about Jesus? Like, that's a name, right? Yeah, yeah. lots of people have the name Jesus. Christ. That's just Jesus in Spanish. You just can't have right. Christ. <laughs> Okay. That's true. That's true. Well, mm. well, Somebody said Edward. Do you like that? That's my middle name. I know that. <laughs> but do you like it for a first name? Edward. Team Edward. Eddie. Mm -hmm. Ed. Big oh. Ed. A lot of people say I don't this. love Ed and Eddie, but I think Edward is nice. I like Eldon, which is fucking weird. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Son, it's time you played this game. It's your your namesake. <laughs> Elden Ring, my son. <clears throat> Sit around, child. It's time to learn about your origin. Your mom suggests Elvis. Elvis? No, I uh, hate it. <laughs> hate Elvis. Most overrated magician ever. E M I L E. <clears throat> I'm just going down the list. El Gordo. Or it's kind of cute. <laughs> El Gordo. It's cute, I think. <laughs> What's the name of that? Emil. Oh, El Chapo. Ethan didn't hear that. <laughs> what? Emil. A meal? E -M -I -L -E. Yeah, I'm ready to have a meal, not name my kid. <laughs> Alright, for sure, for sure, for sure. Hey, yo. Let's your girl right now. Fat. I'm hungry. <laughs> you just dunked on that baby so hard. 
Elden. Okay, let's do a poll because I actually like Elden. That's kind of weird. L E L. That People just gonna... showed up. Okay, so add Elden to those other options. Levi, Winston, Oliver, and Elden. Here we go. Ask. Do you like Edward? The community. <laughs> I mean, I don't. I, my problem is that I don't love the short Ed and Eddie. <clears throat> Ed, Ed, and Eddie. There was a cartoon that Ed, <laughs> Eddie, and Eddie. Levi, Winston, Oliver, or Eldon. Which one are you thinking? Don't say it. Just point to it. Mm. Winston. What would be a a short name for Winston? Winnie. That's a little bit of a problem for me. Win. That's adorable. That. Win. And I, and I Win's think cute. Winnie, I think it's. It so needs to have some kind of e though. Winnie. I feel like in Hebrew that that's gonna become <coughs> Vinny, which I don't Vinny? really like. They don't do Ws in Hebrew. Mmm, like Winnie. Winnie sounds the Pooh. Weird. How do they call w. Winnie the Pooh? Yeah, I'm gonna say Winnie, but it sounds weird. Oliver. Actually, they don't. Or it's, he's just called Pooh the Bear. Pooh. Pooh the Bear. Pooh. Mm. Mm. Let's say Mampoo then. Name <laughs> Pooh. I'm voting for that, if you believe it. They're literary characters wow. named Winnie. That's crazy, dude. I, that's the one I, I voted for Eldon. Isn't that so weird, Eldon? W. That's a nice name. Elden Ring expansion pack win. <laughs> <laughs> when is that coming out? I've been waiting. That's a great question. So fucking long. They're dude. fucking up. My kid's gonna go to, my Elden's <laughs> gonna go to college before the Elden. So true. I like Elden. Mm -hmm. Mom and Dad, what do you guys think about Elden? <clears throat> Here's some rules to follow. Each state has its own set of rules for naming. Uh, some states have more lenient regulations, while others have more strict. Common restrictions in various states include special characters. Oh, come on. How am I, how, how I going to name my chat and my password if I can't use special characters? <laughs> Obscenities and offensive terms. Names that are considered obscene, offensive, or derogatory are typically not allowed. Okay. Lame. Boring. <laughs> Numer numerals. Some states do not permit the use of numbers. <laughs> well, that makes sense. I mean. Wait, so did uh, Elon's son's name, is that following the guidelines? I think Elon had to change it, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, did he? Or, <laughs> let's see. Or, no, I don't. Or he initially wanted to name him something else, but had to change. I think it. there there wasn't a special character. It was just like a no. different. It has a dash in it, but okay. maybe dashes are okay because I guess yeah, names have hyphens. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Names so. have hyphens. Recently, a Grimes dash? and Musk had to change yeah. their son's oh, name like to a comply. Oh, like two-word Betty Lou. Oh, yeah. they do have the uh, uh, whatever that figure is. The the A and E combined. I forget. Yeah, I think what it's that's Norwegian. Called. Yeah, I, I guess. Recently, Grimes and Musk had to change their son's name to comply with California law. There you go. Under law, names must be written on birth certificates using the 26 alphabetic, alphabetical letters of the English language. Right. Oh, so that they, the umlauts and the A-E. Well, it has numbers in there, too. <laughs> so. What do you think no about numbers, Henry? Apparently. I just saw it in there. Henry? Mm-hmm. I don't hate Henry. I don't hate it. Henry? <laughs> Supper's ready, Henry. <laughs> you know we'll be doing that all day at home. <laughs> Henry the Third was one of the great kings of Lord of the Manor. Um, we have a close friend named Isaac, so that one doesn't work. Okay, so people are liking Oliver. Now Oliver overtook. Okay, let's let's let's. I still like Oliver. I do. What the let's, fuck? Let's let's tone it down. Let's tone it down. Let's do another poll. <laughs> Don't play that. <laughs> okay. We're gonna, Giovanni. I mean, if we go for Oliver, we might have to ban all Oliver Tree sound bites. Ban from the show. We might have ban to. Ban from the soundboard. Cut any ties with him. We're cutting ties. <laughs> well, the whole so Godfather joke thing is like, it's going to be so, it's going to be so nonstop and so absurd. Mm -hmm. The kid's going to be bullied before he's even born. Is that mm -hmm. what you want? <laughs> Woody? So what am I am I doing? Okay, so just between poll. Oliver and Eldon. <clears throat> Oliver, Eldon, and do we like Henry? Do we want to add Henry to the? I like it right now. Henry. Archduke Archduke Ferdinand. All these are very British coded. Winston as well. You guys have like a, a whole British theme happening here. Oliver. I like old retired Henry. like yeah. classy sounding names yeah. that nobody's used in a yeah, hundred years. Like Egbert. Somebody that was made, yeah, an emperor at some point. Oh. No, I was suggesting Egbert. Oh, 
Egbert? Humperdinck? Yeah. Egbert? Name like kid, like name kid Egbert. I like Egbert. <laughs> Wait, is that a name? Oh, yeah. Egg. Arthur. Egbert? What about Gaylord? Uh, Egg. Wait, what do you mean? That's her actual name. That's his popular name. I don't Gaylord like Fokker. Egbert or Gaylord. <laughs> you don't like Gaylord? Why? Gay. <laughs> Egbert is kind of fire. Egbert. I, it sounds like eggplant to me. You could call him Eggy. That's dub. That's Eggie. terrible. Egg. I still that like. Horrible. I still want to call <laughs> my. Uh, I still like Duckworth. Yeah, Ethan likes Duckworth. That name is I, so We sick. cannot agree on that one. Duckworth. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Terrible. You call him Ducky. Isn't that Kendrick oh, Lamar's name? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's his. That's his surname. That's where he got it. Duckworth. Eggs. Ducky's the coolest fucking nickname. Ducky's cute. Ducky's yeah, but Ducky Ducky's cute, cute like when they're a little Duckworth? kid. I don't know about. I like when adults use like the. Like Teddy Roosevelt, like that's badass. His name, he still goes by Teddy, even mm -hmm. though he's like mm -hmm. a rough rider. Mm. He like, you know, does genocide on Native Americans, but he's still called Teddy. Damn. <laughs> what a contrast. <laughs> did he do genocide on Native Americans, Teddy? Or was that Yeah, they all did. Yeah, he did that. He did that <laughs> shit. If you go to the Museum of Natural History in uh, mm -hmm. New York City, there's a giant statue of Teddy Roosevelt and like two Native Americans like like it's so fucked up. Hold on. Let me pull this up. I think they removed it recently because people were getting upset. Do you want me to put up this poll? Mm -hmm. So what are the options? Oliver Eldon Henry. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, go ahead. Let's get it. Okay, Let's... which do you like? Question mark. I always like the name Henry, but AB doesn't. And Henry? he's made fun of me since, yeah, Henry. And it just makes me think of Henry Hill. Look at this shit. Who's that? From uh, <coughs> Goodfellas. Oh. This is the what's agreed to. Oh yeah, we walked by that a lot. Everyone's right? like, yeah, my always, I was always like, this is a little weird. He's leading them out of their ancestral homes. Oh. <laughs> so did they remove it? I read something that people were getting. Oh yeah, here it is. Controversial Teddy Roosevelt statue removed from outside New York City Museum. Oh, wow. That must have happened. She's yeah, 2020. Oh. So we, I wonder what we it walked they, by it when it was still there. We walked wow. by it many times. It's yeah. right in front of the Natural History Museum, right in our neighborhood. Yeah. So what did they replace it with? I wonder. You know. Hmm. Uh, okay. Well, there it is. Oliver. Seems to be taking a slight edge here. You guys are fucking with us. I don't know why, you know. I like the name. I like Oliver, but I, mean, I can't. I feel like this is a lifelong decision, and I don't think that this should affect it. Yeah, but they, like they, some asshole. Okay, but they Oliver. have to promise not to make fun of him. Who's they? Who's everybody they? watching, <laughs> everybody who's aware. Who's gonna make fun of your baby? If Oliver starts saying shit, I'm gonna hit the button and hang up on him. All right. If he talks about our son, <laughs> button, hang up. Yeah. It's not happening. Okay. There's no grandfather, there's no godfather shit, there's no, none of that. Well, he'll know the name of this one, at least. Hmm? He'll know the name. <laughs> right. I wouldn't even he won't count on it. that. Yeah. He won't forget this one. Right. He still true. might not know. I like Oliver, that's the shame of it. And Teddy does too. Teddy gets very passionate about this mm -hmm. thing. Like when we thought we were, might have a girl. Mm -hmm. A lavender. That was the name he wanted, Lavender. Lavender. I was yeah. like, wow, that's, and that, that he made, he brought that he out brought of the He brought that out. the sweetest thing. And ever. I was like, that is really a sweet, beautiful name. Yeah. <laughs> but it wasn't meant to be. <laughs> we're only destined to have boys. It's absolutely, <laughs> it's absolutely nuts. Yeah. <gasps> Because if you think about it, like, some families, they'll have three, four, five boys. But we didn't... I never thought I would be one of those persons, though. Some families have four or five daughters. Right. Mm-hmm. Which is pretty wild, too, I'm sure. Both of our parents had both, so I just felt like that was just obvious. We were going to have, like, right. both, you Mix know? it up. Yeah, but... Um, but here's the thing. We did the IVF, and you had, like... Nine eggs. I mean, like, besides this right now, there's still seven more boys. <laughs> all in good condition. They're all lined up, ready to go. It's crazy. <laughs> I was, was going to say, it's like we had nine kids, basically, and they're yeah. all boys. Yeah. So. Damn. 
anybody wants a Klein boy. And the one girl, she just didn't make it. God rest her soul. I mean, she never... She was just an egg, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just an egg. Yeah. It never got fertilized. I think that's what the problem was. Eggs. My semen just fucking recoils at the thought of... <laughs> A female egg. That's beta. They go, they go in, they're like, nah, fail out. Semen pussy. All right, chill. <laughs> so Oliver, okay, all right. I guess we have we to. We have time, though. We still got time. Eldon's kind of fire, I though. I do like Eldon. Abner. No. Hubert. Mm -mm. Stanley. Mm -mm. Stanley Cup, Klein. Maxwell. No. Omar. <laughs> I'm just reading them all. Mm. Uh-huh. Duckworth? Can you do it but include Duckworth? <laughs> like, genuinely, I think it's such a good name. But you guys really think it's fucked up, huh? Duckworth. Is that... I don't know... What Kinda do you goofy. guys in the office think? About, about Duckworth? Duckworth? Yeah. Go goofy. I'm sorry. Very goofy. Yeah. Don't really. like it. That kid's getting picked on. Wait, did anyone say that? Saying, nobody they likes it? it. Yeah, that kid is definitely did getting picked on. Did someone say they like it? We said don't like don't it. Don't like oh, it. Oh, Lena said hard, don't like it. Hard. They really don't like it. You're not. Sorry. All right, well, what about Ducky? I don't like it. Just Ducky. Ducky is so cute. You Honestly, see? Just Ducky. Ducky is cute, but like, what's the full name? It feels like a no, cute it's Ducky. Like, nickname. His name's Ducky. Yeah, it's going to be cool till he's like 10. Sounds like a written toddler, you know what I mean? Like a toddler no, that should Just look grow. at Dan's face. Like, just look at that. <laughs> How about Dan? Dan? That's good. That's a good Definitely Jewish good. name. Daniel Klein. Daniel? Yeah, people Ducky really hate him. He's a prophet or something. Mr. Beast? Cool guy. General cool That's guy. That's awesome. <laughs> Just name Please. him Mr. Beast. You should First name him name Mr. Mr. Beast. First name Mr. Middle name Beast. I named my Klein. son after Mr. Beast. Oh my God. <laughs> I need Mr. Beast to acknowledge we named our son Mr. Beast. I travel across the country to find Mr. Beast. Baby named Mr. Beast. I have, an, I have a meeting at two, so I... I'm throwing my newborn baby into a giant ditch on top of a burning tree. His name is Mr. Beast. <laughs> I tied up an FBI agent. I gotta go. Oh, I must pass out from coffee and then yell at <laughs> Going a little too hard. We have a lot of time to think about this. Hmm. Someone in chat said Rocky. Rocky? Rocky? You guys are mm. thinking of like Italian maybe? Mm. I'm out on Rocky. Mm. How about Prometheus? Like Prometheus? <laughs> <laughs> How about Tiamat? Uh, promo? Hey, promo. <laughs> promo. Or Elvis, like Dumbledore. Elvis? Oh, Elvis kind of. Mm -hmm. It's too much like, oh, you named your kid from Harry Potter. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's rough. That I'd rather rough. do Harry. Harry? If we're going to go Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Balls? Why don't you just name him Harry Balls? Todger? No. To uh, why don't you name him Todger Klein? <laughs> I think if his name was Harry Balls, he'd be picked on less than if his name was Ducky. Oh my honest. god, do you hear that? <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I we could put that one to rest. Yeah, okay, fine. Jeez. Rec uh, Let's call him LMAO. <laughs> Everett? Finnegan? Mordecai, Buckley, Ember. Ember's the uh, color of my eyes. <laughs> and your energy. And your energy, yeah. <laughs> and my energy. What about a Zeppelin? What? Get out of here. Oh. I'll that that, your kid. That's what I'm naming my first What was the name? Zeppelin. <laughs> Zeppelin. Zeppelin. Yeah. Zeppelin. Yeah. Good. I'm glad. It's meaningful. It's good, yeah. good for you. It yeah, works good for you. you. Yeah. I like it. It works for Zachy. What about Howard? Howard. Oh, there you go. Is, I no. kind of think it's a good name, but I wouldn't do it because it's too much like. Oh, you like Howard Stern? Well, and know. Howard always is like, my name sucks. I have the worst name. I ever. disagree with I him. I think it's a cool it. name. No offense to the Howards. Or Holden. I think it's a cool no, name. No, it's not a bad name. It's just so, it's just very like Howard. Yeah. What, what about then you can be Howie. Rexford? Rexford. Lawrence? Mm -mm. Rex. Hazel. Mm -mm. Lawrence Hazel. Mm -mm. Oppenheimer Smith. <laughs> Don, Don Jacob, Jacob Oppenheimer Smith. <laughs> You see these chat GPT uh, Elden Ring like names? That oh, I sick. Hold on. Some good ones in here. <laughs> Elmo. Uh, as a language. So here, uh, Elmo. Chat GPT gave. Dude, Elmo's kind of fire. <laughs> Isn't that? 
Saint Elmo. Wait, we actually said Saint that Elmo's as a joke fire. with Teddy, right? But now yeah. I like Elmo. And he was like, "What? But he lives on Sesame yeah, Street." Yeah. What? What is our brother gonna <laughs> live on Sesame Street? <laughs> okay, here's. And he said that. Yeah. He yeah. Said that. <laughs> he's Damn, he's got me. jokes. He does. He's <laughs> got jokes. Okay, so um. <laughs> Okay, I do have an appointment. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, okay. ChatGPT gave us uh, suggestions uh, other than Duck, okay? Duckworth. Duckling, Ducky, Ducket, <laughs> Ducky, Duckson, Duck Duckheart, Duckford, Ducklin, Ducklinson. Yeah. <laughs> Rest my case. Dude, you can't These name... These are all terrible. You can't name your kid anything that rhymes with fuck. Oh. It's just gonna be endless teasing. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Here's some other Elden Ring-like names. Alric, Gwyn, Art... Artorius. Artorius, Lothar, <laughs> Sigmund. Lothar? Damn. Ethel, Emmerich, Arden, Erland, Holdor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just name him Hodor. Hodor. <laughs> these are just Scandinavian. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, these all just sound like, uh, you know. Would you consider Ethan or no? Ethan? Like Ethan Jr. Nah, you don't want to. I feel like giving nah. your your name. Your son, Junior, is like, I don't know. Like, wow, you really love yourself. Yeah, it's like, dude, it's way to fucking, you know, you got to give your your kid their own identity. I also know, like, not a lot of Jewish people do that. Like, It's, it's not like, a thing in Israel. Yeah. It's arrogant, isn't it? Like, mm. I don't even know how to say it. I think If you're a, a king, bit. I get it. It's like, yo, we're royalty, bitch. Mm-hmm. It's one name is all we fucking need. Arabs don't do a lot either, but we take our father's name as our middle name. Which kind of that's sucks. good. I like that. I mean, that that's like an honorary, you know. Yeah, I think it's cool, but I, for the girls, it sucks sometimes. Like Lena's Lena Ahmed. Uh, Ahmed, which is a male name. <laughs> yeah. I like Ahmed. That's a nice name, by the way. Mm-hmm. I always thought that was a nice name. Augustus Glump. Donna says, "Tell <laughs> Ethan Everest." Everest. That's fun. <laughs> she also suggested Eagle. <laughs> eagle. She said Eagle. Uh, Any eagle. other animals you want? Oh, I guess I did say ducky. Eagle fang. <laughs> She's I, like, if duckies wow. are lame, then eagles must be cool. Pterodactyl Klein. <laughs> Tyrannosaurus. Qua- Quattlecotus. <laughs> that's the big ones. Yeah. Quattlecotus Klein. What about alligator uh, Klein. Yeah. yeah. What about Duncan? Elton. All right, we we, we have Hammerhead, time to think. We Hammerhead have Shark Klein. We have so Gator much time. Gator Klein. We can Gator. do this every episode. Con- congrats. <laughs> I'm excited. We're gonna do it. Another fucking baby. Another boy. Another boy. Another Klein boy world. Get ready. Mm-hmm. Get ready. Cool. Bofa. <laughs> what? Bofa these nuts. Yo! If we order food, do you want something? I'm feeling like celebratory Taco Bell's in order. Oh! Fuck yeah, bro. That's what I like to hear. Let's fucking Bart- Go! What Bartholomew. About- what? Shubalumba Klein. <laughs> the potato taco thing? Or the fried chicken taco? Oh, the, the Chipotle? She's pregnant. Hell dude, yeah. pregnant Hila's back, Hell dude. Yeah. You gotta I s- love pregnant Hila. Pregnant Hila is back. She's ready to fucking eat. Mm, mm, mm. That is something you'll never hear not pregnant Hila ever say. Yeah. She's like, yo, I need that. I need two of those fucking tacos. Let love order. For me. All right. So, okay, we have some good options, though. At the end of the day, here we've got Eldon, Oliver, and Eagle. Hell yeah. I like Eagle. I knew an Eagle once. He was Did nice, you? He was a nice guy. Okay. Like the that's Eagle if you're watching. I knew a hawk once. Short for Hawken. Mm. I what knew about... a Sheikin once. Sheikin? <laughs> Yes. Hold on. Chicken. Cool. There's a barber in, Deer- in Dearborn His name is Chicken. What about Griffith then, Dan? <laughs> Let's just go with Griffith. <laughs> oh, God. Guts. Guts. Yeah, just name Guts it. Guts is fire. Guts. Guts. Klein. <laughs> Guts is Klein. fire, dude. <laughs> Wait, Guts is crazy name. <laughs> Gustavo. <laughs> it, it, all right, all right. We talked about this enough. Yeah. Let's move on. Yeah. We have a show to do here, folks. So, should we just change the title to We're Having Another Boy? Do you think I that's think better? So. Yeah. yeah. Or we've got a big enough. Hila's pregnant again. Hila's pregnant again! Yeah. Sad face. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Joy's face. Joy's face. 
happy face. There it is. There it another, is. Another another baby. Whoop. There it is. Yeah, tell tell Lena what you guys want from uh There's nothing ordinary about it. Oh, there when, it is. When was that from? Remember that shit? No. Oh. There's nothing ordinary about it. Is that like Taco a commercial? Bell. That was a Taco Bell jingle? Yeah, bro. Nothing oh ordinary my God. about I, it. 1996. That's what it's from? Whoa. <laughs> so, dude, it's weird how these jingles just stay with yeah. you. This is pre <laughs> Yo Quiero Taco Bell. Yeah. Look how old I am. Oh my God. I was 11 when this came out, so I was like, oh, my man. memory was working. Am I getting claimed? Definitely. <laughs> Say goodbye to the- Oh shit. Yo. Yo, how is this a Taco Bell commercial? What am I watching right now? Oh my god. I don't god. care, but it's cool. Alright, let me hear the sound. Okay, turn it off. Okay. <laughs> Try Yo, time. they're really trying to make this look like real food. Yeah. They gave up on that. They're yeah. like, no. no well, no. let's just get a talking fucking dog in here. <laughs> okay, bring it back. Ordinary about it, Taco Bell. Uh, yeah, I, I don't remember that one at all. Wow, it's been too young. I would be, what, nine, eight years old? Yeah, it was, uh, yeah. All right, well, let's get some, let's get some Taco Bell. Let's go. Oh, yeah, I want a Baja Blast, most definitely. Oh. Baja Blast diet. Bro, the Taco Bell website is loading. Taco Bell. All right, so here's what we did over the weekend, actually. We kind of, uh, we threw, we threw out a, uh, how do I say? We threw out a decoy. Mm -hmm. We said we were going to Saddle Ranch, but we weren't going to Saddle Ranch. It was a lie. We lied to you guys. We, we went lied. to Martin's restaurant, Gwen, and it was so good. We had Why such a fun lie? experience. Martin took great care of us. He really did. And it was such a great, beautiful evening. Uh, I'm not in the photo because I missed the memo and showed up at Saddle Ranch alone. Mm. So fucking idiot. No. I missed you guys. Wow. Yeah, we I'm just kidding. I left early. Cam bailed before dessert. <clears throat> For good reason. So, it was, uh, it was great. It was Super great. fun. He great really hooked it up. That was, it was amazing. First, first Michelin star restaurant I'd ever been to. So that was that was cool. Yeah, man. It's a really nice spot. Gwen, I mean, it's super expensive, but if you're in, if you want to try a nice, what's interesting about it, you know, it was expensive. It was it less. It wasn't than I, as bad as I was. It was thought it was going to be. It was a lot less than I thought it would be. Yeah, like a lot less. I mean, uh, Martin did hook it up with like a nice employee discount, thirty percent. Thank you, Martin. He, he did. Christ, give us a fat discount. But um, and it was, actually, it was yeah, a lot of money because there was twelve of us or thirteen of us or however many there was. But um, but considering that, I agree. Fairly reasonable for how for how nice it was. I mean, I'll say it because I actually I thought it was fine. It was like fifteen hundred after a four hundred dollar tip. Yeah, it was like eleven hundred. Yeah, fifteen hundred, which. That's a lot of money, Four. but it was 12, 13 people. Yeah. How many was it? Was it 12 or 13? Yeah, 12, I can't I think. Was it 12? Yeah, 12. 12 people. I mean, that's under 100 bucks a head. 12. At, for a I, Michelin star restaurant? That seems really good. I went there expecting to spend $300 per head. Right, yeah. That's what I would have guessed. So I was like, fuck yeah, dude. I just saved 300 Somebody said, okay, but how was the water? You know okay. that shit was fucking fire. We, we so filmed fire. it for a vlog, right, Lena? Yes, we did. So we, we arrived at the table, and there's just this massive spread of all different kinds of waters, boy. Um, all different flavors. The, so, yeah, the water was on point. You know it was. Mm-hmm. Wait, you can get a frozen Baja Blast? The fuck? Are you yes, kidding? Yes, they do yes. do that. Can you get a diet, the, the zero? Uh, you know what, though? It's going to be so melty that I by the time know. it gets here. I wouldn't advise it. Yeah, the ordering the Baja Blast is no bueno. You got to do the free, you got to be there in person if you're going to do the freeze. Um, I'm doing the freeze regardless, but yeah, you're going to regret that. You're no, I never do. No, I did it last time too, and it was still good when it it's got here. It's always great. Okay. I want it. Okay. I want it. a Baja Blast <laughs> Zero, no sugar in that bitch, extra, extra freezy. What if it doesn't come with no sugar? I don't think they. Then do I don't it. want it. Yeah, I don't think okay. they do the freezy. But oh, they don't. Not zero sugar. It's racist. We'll still double check though. 
I went to Taco Bell and it ruined the rest of my week. They didn't have the. <laughs> they didn't have the blended. And then I had a hard time the rest of the week. Frozen Baja. Yep, they don't have it. Just a regular frozen one. God, I can't decide what to get. You guys are all having these interesting orders. I was diagnosed as delusional, so I came home and went to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I need to start saying that. Love her. I like your order, love. Four crunchy taco supremes. Yep. That, I love the taco supreme. It's like it's so it's simple. Cream. It hits so hard. It hits so hard. Some Diablo sauce on that shit. But why do you get the taco supreme without tomatoes? That's like the whole thing. Oh, no, it comes with sour I cream. just want the sour cream. Okay. That's all. So maybe it would be cheaper to get just normal but I, sour cream. I don't it's know. like 20 oh, cents more or something. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Do they have those Chipotle ones still? I, I can't open the website. Chipotle what? Chipotle taco something chicken. Oh, right. of course. They, yeah, sure. Just make, just tell them stuff, they'll figure it out. Can I get a Chipotle Dorito wrap? Okay. <laughs> they'll be like, yeah. It's yeah, all no. like, there's like five basic ingredients of all of Taco Bell that exactly. just put some different type of way. Just, That's Mexican food. You're just That's true. You're yeah. ordering a shape. You're ordering a form factor. Can I get beans in a square? Yeah. <laughs> Done. Can I Contra. get beans in a square? Can I get one square, one I, triangle? Yeah, exactly. Bean, I want beans, rice, and uh, cheese, and... Uh, and some lettuce. Can I get a cube of stuff? If, yeah. you, if you say you want a circle, they'll give you a Mexican pizza. Can I get that hexagon? Mm -hmm. The crunch wrap supreme. Yeah, crunch wrap hexagon. Right. Oh. So you guys like the crunch wrap supreme? For real. Uh, I love the crunch wrap. Crunch wrap solid. The crunch wrap solid. I'm looking at Dan because he's a Taco Bell aficionado. Two spicy potato soft tacos. Yeah, I'm going light today. I'm not that hungry. We ate not that long before the show started. Mm. All right. So here's what I want. After much deliberation and spying on everyone's order, mm -hmm. Zach got the crunch wrap supreme and a chalupa. A chupa lupa? A chupa lupa. Chupa -lupa. Oh, yeah. You don't want a chupa a chalupa? Chupa -lupa. You love to chupa make up for. Oh, yeah, I'll hit a chupa lupa too. It's not going to arrive. Yeah, they fucked me up. The over. driver will eat it. Just put a note. You can eat the chupa lupa. <laughs> <laughs> That's for you, <laughs> That's buddy. That's for you. <laughs> That's kind of dope if That's you did that. Awesome. One taco's for you, buddy. <laughs> do that. Let's do that. I don't. Should we not invite him to go through no, our food? No, fuck Probably that. Yeah. Give him a tip instead. Well, we tip. Yeah, of course we of course. tip. Of course. You know what I mean? Yeah. <sighs> Cheers, my dude. I can't decide. I'm going to say, I, 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 don't, I don't I'm paralyzed with fucking choices. No, just take your time. All right. One taco supreme. Yep. Nope. One bean cheese rice burrito. With uh, extra mild sauce it tastes better don't judge me i like the mild the hot doesn't taste as good you want extra sauce inside of it yes please okay you like the chicken quesadilla maybe i find it to be a little weird he's fixing his wires but yeah he always gets that all right then let let oh wait Ela wants what did Ela want Dude, I'm so I'm so sorry to you guys watching. This is like the <laughs> most absurd I'll, shit. I'll text. No, yeah, yeah, we got, this if you good. just want to give us your order, we got the rest. Okay. This is literally the dumbest content on the internet right now. Dude, the jalapeno sauce in the <laughs> chicken quesadilla. Cut the, can you shit, cut the Dan just standing no there? Cut, go to Dan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love this shot. <laughs> That's a good shot. So Ela wanted the uh, fried chicken taco and the potato taco. Okay, got it. Also, I want the um, fucking fried chicken. I, I I feel like I can't decide, so I want the quesadilla with sour cream also and the Doritos taco. No, you don't want that. I I'm copying AB's order. Well, quesadilla and then what was the other one? Whatever AB got. Okay. I gotta move on. I can't. I'm yeah. so sorry, you guys. Listen, I'm so Dan, sorry. Dan knows his stuff, but he's compromised. He's vegan, so. You know yeah. what I mean? I know that. I take that in consideration. Um, but here's the thing. Talk about when are you gonna be fucking paying us for this shit? And I'm not talking gift cards. Yeah. Expired gift cards. Right. I don't know if they're expired. Probably. 45,000 fucking people are watching us order Taco Bell. You know at least a thousand of them are going to Taco Bell right now. Alright, I'm moving on. Please, god damn. So shout out Martin, shout out Gwen. Uh, what a fantastic night, wasn't it, folks? Yes, it was. Rip to the goat, Paul Rubin. 
This hit hard. This hit really hard. Pee Wee Herman, I mean, God, he was a big part of all of our childhood, wasn't he? Yes, indeed. Such Love a, that man. Dude, there's nothing like Pee Wee Herman out there, man. That was <laughs> such an iconic character. And, like, weirdly nuanced because Pee Wee was, like, this upbeat, lovable guy, but also, like, a sociopath <laughs> at the same time when dealing with people. <laughs> you know? Um, such a great character. Uh, rest in peace to Paul Rubens. Yep. Died of cancer. Ugh. He was battling cancer in private for, I think, five years, it said. I was shocked to find out he was 70 years old, too. Yeah. Looks good. Yeah. Looks really good. He actually put out a statement, too, um, upon his, to be put out upon his death. What was it? I saw it somewhere. I haven't, I hadn't seen that, no. Ah, where Directly is it? Well, I'll try to find it and link it for me, but yeah, he put out some kind of statement. But, you know, uh, rest in peace, he's definitely jerking off in the big porn theater in the sky. How about it? He's beating his meat furiously, <laughs> freely. Have at it, buddy. You earned it. That's right. Yeah. Um. This is great. You know, we've been talking about Fusi Tube a lot. His stream's been kind of popping Look off. You guys know he's a friend rap. of the show. <laughs> and I don't want to. Sh we've been showing a lot of clips, but this one is just so fucking funny. <laughs> I literally can't stop laughing from this. Does he really have 30,000 subs now? That's nuts. Yep, and on uh, yesterday, he actually hit 15K live viewers. Oh, I'm so happy Holy for crap. him. Holy crap. Yeah. That's crazy. It's, it's addicting. Is he behaving? Yeah. <laughs> he, he has, you know, he has his moments, but it's kind of nice because the audience is supportive of him and kind of helps him through it. <clears throat> Keep it up. Pussy. But but watch this watch is so funny. I love I love you. You. Wait, how old are you? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I've never seen somebody That's react that fucking fast, dude. That's a winner. <laughs> oh man. This Wait, how old are you? <laughs> <laughs> this what weekend was wild because he kept getting into random people's cars. Like, a lot of them were fans, but then there was, like, random fans that were, like, sn stream sniping him, and it was just, it was a whole saga. Wow. There was a lot. I'm not getting into random people's cars, man. He, at one point, he thought he might be getting kidnapped. What, um, live? Yeah, live. Like, he was, and his, wow. he lost cell phone service, and he was afraid that they cut his phone, and he started to share his location with me, so. <laughs> he sent it to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if he knows I still have his location. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, here, but luckily, no, she's 21, so you're good, Fusi. 21, 21. Okay. I love you! Like, I love, he wasn't even doing 21. that, like, with a, 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 an ounce of humor. That was just pure snap reaction. I love, I love you. you. Wait, how old are you? <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking good. Okay. I love you! <laughs> keep it up, Fusi. Stay good. Be good. Stay out of trouble, all right? You keep 21. it up. 21. Fuck you. Ah, uh, that was so funny. Man. Okay, I love, I love you. you. Wait, how old are you? <laughs> <laughs> Can you grab that, Zach? Sure. Wait, how old are you? Keemstar could learn from Fusi, man. Keemstar should have do. What does Keemstar think of high school girls? Mm hmm. Just as I thought. Yo, bro, I met this high school girl that was hot as fuck tonight. Ah, so good. Uh, let's see. Elon Musk changed the f name of Twitter to X, and I don't know if you guys are having the same thing, but I go on my phone, and I'm looking for Twitter, and I'm scrolling around all my desktop, and X. I cannot find it. And I'm like, oh, it's fucking X now. This X. stupid, so dumb, dude. X. But if that's not bad enough, imagine living across the street from his goddamn building in San Francisco. Look at this. Here it is. It's a giant, glowing, strobing X. <laughs> just blindingly bright. It's fucking insane. Facing a residential building across the street. <laughs> um, it's the uh, Kenny Rogers chicken thing. 
<laughs> I know, a hundred percent. It's even worse probably than the, <laughs> it's probably the way red. It hurts. You know, I had do have to commit that was fast as shit that he got like a monster sized strobing X. I guess when you're a billionaire you can make things happen. And just break all of the laws and don't care. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. <laughs> well, so there's a happy ending to this story. <laughs> Um, but here's a here's a TikTok After I Elon saw. Elon Musk renamed Twitter to X, he erected a massive light up X sign on top of the company. This is Ken. Ken Clip. Yeah, Ken Klippenstein. He's the, the man. Yeah, he's the man. <laughs> headquarters in San Francisco. This decision prompted one Twitter user to post the video you're now watching, along with a text. I would be livid. Imagine living across from that X before panning to the residential building next door. <laughs> Within hours, a Twitter user who lives in that building posted this video from his apartment window, Dude. bitterly tweeting, "Imagine no more, and this is my life now." Dude. above video of the flashing X sign. This follows reports from earlier this week that the company removed the iconic Bluebird sign without proper permits or observing safety measures. This is far from the first- Yeah, who gives a fuck about safety measures when you're Elon damn Musk? <laughs> Get me a hand job for a horse! <laughs> Don't worry about it. First time Musk has run afoul of the rules. Just ask anyone at the SEC. Absurd as this True. all is, there's an important point here. Billionaires like Elon Musk think they're above the law. That's true, King. That is exactly what it means. You know? Pop off. Clip. Clap. Clip clap. Uh, but the sign was taken down this morning, actually. Uh, so, fuck you. Here it is, being removed <laughs> by the city. Because, again, he didn't get permits. He didn't do safety checks. This is just... This is big government. Stepping, stepping over the line once again. Yo, Crushing just, the little man, you know? Oh, dude, just let me put up my giant strobing X that <laughs> hasn't been inspected. It could just fall on walkers by on the street, <laughs> explode, <laughs> set the building on fire. Uh, San Francisco doesn't have a history of burning to the ground. It's not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Elon Musk continues to be a douche. And I'll be honest, I'm using Twitter less and less. I really am. And I'm looking at you, Threads. Just give me a news feed, please. They're dropping the ball, man. <laughs> yeah, they, a news feed? That's the only reason I go on Twitter. It's for the news feed. I I just subscribe to a bunch of news people on uh, on no, the, threads, the, the and the my whole tab. feed is that the trending tab. The trending tab is fucking worthless. On no, Twitter. it just tells me what's popping, dude. It keeps my ear to the to the ground. You know what I mean? Mm. You know, I gotta feel the vibrations, know what's out Every there. Every time I go on there lately, the trending tab is just like, uh, uh, Biden, Biden R-worded children or something. Let's see what it is right now. Here's, here's a clip of Joe Rogan. I guess people are turning on Jim Gaffigan, who went on Joe Rogan, because he is pro-vaccine. Oh, no. Yes, sir. Jim Gaffigan, a comedian who spread false information during the pandemic, defends Joe Biden and says what a great father he is. Good news is Joe Rogan destroys him several times during the show. That's such a great audience they have there. Yeah, that's good. Why does it lie? I want to watch that clip, actually. Can you send it to me? On I want to watch Joe Rogan destroy the Gaffigan. Fuck you. The cake guy. The Hot Pockets guy. Joe Rogan, <laughs> let's see, Joe Rogan, oh, the top result, it was a quartering let's video, let's go, no Joe Rogan causes epic meltdown of no, I don't want to watch TD, I, no, I, I don't want to watch it, it's just quarter. funny that that's the first result, IQ inbred loser, my wife went out for a pizza without me, and now I took a shit in my bed, I took a grumpy right under her pillow, my wife went out for pizza without me, it's just, it's, there's tons of clips on Twitter, if you can send me on, yeah. Discord. Yeah. There we go. All right, let's take a look at Joe destroying Jimmy boy. Uh, Joe, you're going to explain to Jim Gaffin why we don't want pharma-controlled media. Okay. I don't think the media is controlled by pharma. I mean, I mean, the media is controlled by like, okay, whatever. Jim did uh, stand-up routines and shame people who wouldn't get the shot. All right. Marshals, you know, they're, I think they're only legal in the U.S. and New Zealand. <laughs> yeah. But New yeah. Zealand's far more restrictive than the U.S. too. But if they got rid of them, you know, hey, well, well, all right, we got. I guess we got to get rid There's of. There's no context. What are they even talking about? This clip sucks. Is there another one? Half our channels. I well, don't. They probably don't would, I'm and sure that there probably is. would be good. Here, yeah. about yeah. Joe Rogan destroying Jim Gaffigan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me that one. 
Oh, why does it lie? Hot pockets. Jim Gaffigan, anyone? Is pretty bad. Well, the January 6th thing is bad, but also <laughs> oh. the intelligence. Uh-oh. But. We're putting a caveat. <laughs> but also. But. Yeah, the January 6th thing is bad, but have you heard of what they've done to uh, uh -oh. Ivermectin? Uh-oh. Intelligence agencies were involved in provoking people to go into the Capitol building. That's Say fucking what, Joe Rogan? Let me go back. Thing is pretty bad. Well, the January 6th thing is bad, but also the intelligence agencies were involved in provoking people to go into the Capitol building. That is 1,000% psycho conspiracy shit, right? I mean, that's like Alex Jones level. Mm, I don't know. What's the validity of that? He says it like it's known. The CIA was was trying to get people to go into the building. Where's that coming from? I mean, genuinely, what the fuck? That's a fact. That's Dude. a fact. Oh, we should have just kept watching. So wait a minute, you're you're saying that that guy, what's his name? Ray Epps. Yeah, you really think that he? I don't was... know. I don't. You just said it's a fact, dummy. <laughs> fact. I. That's definitely a fact, in my opinion. A fact. <laughs> No, but I do know that I think every that's other parent. I think he's going to sue Fox. I think every other person who was involved in January 6, who was involved in coordinating uh, a break in into the Capitol and in instigating people breaking, they were all arrested. This guy wasn't. Not only that, they were defending him in the New York Times. Who, who was he? Who was he talking about? Ray um, Epps. Ray Epps. Ray now. Epps. Who's that? He was a guy, he was one of the rioters, and he has become a big target on the right because of, mostly because of Tucker Carlson, actually. Which some people speculate is why he got fired, because he, they're probably going to get sued for a fuck ton of money again. Yeah. Um, he was a rioter, and he did participate, um, and they've uh, glommed on to this idea that he was an FBI plant, and he was the one, like, okay, forced, so forcing them all to, to go in there or whatever. So one middle-aged fucking goofball Ray Epps he managed to galvanize th tens of thousands of people it's just so stupid yeah it's just like he was just one dude in the crowd and he was on video being like let's go let's get in there or whatever and uh I don't know I love when they it's turn on their own so he's dumb. like dude I love Trump I was there for and they're like no yeah he's a plant that's crazy, Joe. That's Washington crazy. Post, those different Joe won't talk about it. the actual CIA plant that was instigating shit on January 6th, by the way. <laughs> Alex Jones? Yep. You think Alex Jones is a CIA plant? I only want to talk about the I do facts. like that theory. It's theories on theories. Fox News is unjustly accused him of instigating. Well, he clearly instigated. He yeah, did no, it on footage, camera. Right. I think the person that instigated it was fucking the president and his dumbass sons and all the people there speaking, moron. Joe, how can you be so obtuse, you dumb fuck? Get no, your head no, out of no. your ass. Talk to somebody who's not like black-pilled, uh, dumbass MAGA-brained. What an idiot. This guy moved to Texas and he loses an IQ point every goddamn day. And to be honest, he didn't have a lot to spare to begin with. As the temperature goes up, his IQ lowers. It's global. It's a result of climate change, my friends. I did everything <laughs> I don't know right, right and they indicted me. I love, I love it, dude. It's this random dude's fault, not the president. What? Mom, I want a vape. <laughs> what the fuck kind of logic is that? He's a Fed. I know a lot of people think he was a Fed. The people that were there were calling him a Fed. What I do know is when they asked the FBI, the FBI said, we can't tell you whether or not there were people that were there that were doing that. Now, of course like they the, had undercovers. Like we know about them. The fucking leader of the Proud Boys was an informant. Right. It's, it's, it's so stupid. I love that they just turned on this random guy. It's so fantastic. There's been reports that there was hundreds of agents that were there that were doing that. I don't know if that's true either, but I do know <laughs> it's cool. a fact. Damn. Today I only want to talk about the facts. So I suppose they're, what's their theory? Why does the FBI trying to get people to charge? They could round them up and arrest them. Just to for the, out, for the outcome them. that they got, yeah, and to make them look bad. Did, and, and I suppose, I suppose the FBI was behind the whole election fraud thing, getting them to think that they needed to kill Mike Pence. You know, they probably also were the 
the guys who packed up like guns and zip ties. That was the FBI too. That they do use agent provocateurs to disrupt peace, peaceful protests. It's a, a common tactic. What they do is say if there's a. This is insane. This is absolute drivel, dude. And I don't use that word very often. Up against the intelligence agency. This is straight drivel, he did my it dude. Openly, and he. I wish people like um, Gaffigan would stop going on that show. Because look, look what happens. You try to speak your mind, and now you're a provocateur. They're coming for you, Jimmy. Your hot pox ain't going to save you now. Right. This is Joe Rogan's best bud, as you pointed out, Dan. Like, don't you? Ha can't you text him? You know, Gaffigan was just on um, Mark Maron's show, and that was a really good fucking interview. Yeah. Dude, nothing about this fucking bullshit. Yeah. Like, come on. Joe has to virtue signal because he's, he's, he's courted this, like, conservative, MAGA-leaning, uh, you know, audience. So if Jim says something that goes against their narrative, he has to whatever. Anyway, X sucks. That's where this all came from. Um, something interesting here. Okay, so actually, <clears throat> we actually are working on this new sign to advertise the podcast in LA. I don't know if you guys know this. This is the, the LA skyline. <clears throat> new project we're working on. It's, it's uh, 10 billion volts. It actually is able to provide heating to all the nearby buildings. Raises the temperature by 20 degrees. Actually, birds, they they die. They fall to the ground if they fly within 100 feet of it. Good. It's That's good. Wild. You know, it also works as a bug zapper. If you thought there weren't enough bugs, wait till this. The bugs work, or the birds work like Icarus. We're there all at wildlife. The all wildlife is going to be dying. But the people will know it's H3 Podcast forever. Yep. Okay, this is interesting. One of the one of the island boys who we've talked about going uh, dabbing their foots into the incest world has come out as gay, and we love that for him, don't What's we? What's your argument? <laughs> You're so fast with that, bro. Uh, here he is. This one. Which one is this? This would be uh, Fly Soldier. Fly Soldier. Mm. Yep. Fly Soldier. That's a good name. What about that? Fly Soldier Jr. He supports the flies. Fly Soldier Shredder Klein. Oh wait, there's no audio. Did the I think the video got <laughs> I think Instagram did something to it. Oh shit. Let me Damn. It uh there isn't any. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you guys can find a replacement, yeah. but that's very exciting and we're all very happy for him. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not the thing is, it's not gay to have sex with your identical twin brother. It's actually super not gay. And so, adult incest. I I didn't know that he was. You know, I didn't know he was gay, but I'm happy for him. Yep, big uh, surprise. Crazy. Um, you gay? There was a debate in this office around the Meat Mountain. This was a project. We got this in 2022. We encased a meat mountain in resin. And we actually had a bit of a debate in the office. I said this thing would not, um, it wouldn't rot because there's no oxygen for the bacteria to, to use. You know what I mean? Right. And I believe that some of y'all said that it would rot. Dan, I think, said that. I don't remember. Frankly, I think a lot of people stood against me. Yeah, many people. You remember that lot? I, I remember. I you. might have honestly thought it would rot. <sighs> well, uh, let's pull it out. Let's see this thing. Oh, as careful. you pick it up, <laughs> I, I noticed so, it might have been dropped at some point. You'll see the edges. That looks there. pretty preserved oh, yeah, to me. It's yeah, it's been dropped. It looks Yo, this fresh. This, yeah, this thing is. Preserved for all of history to remember it by. <laughs> There's not, it can't, so yeah, I mean, it's been like two years and this thing is, I mean, it's a meat mountain. It's, mm -hmm. 
Isn't sure that is. fucking awesome? Mm-hmm. Like you could still see the fry marks. You could see the bacon, the bun. It's all happening. You know, it's beautiful. So there it is. If you guys were wondering if resin can preserve food, it can. Thank you. They should uh, replace the Teddy Roosevelt statue with that. <laughs> True. It's, this is a national treasure. Fuck Teddy Roosevelt. Well, I was thinking, you know, maybe let's crack it open and give it a shot. You can. You go right ahead. <laughs> I mean, theoretically, it's not. It should be fine, right? No, no, it's, it's covered in uh, resin. No, right. That's probably <laughs> probably not theoretically or or in real life. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, people, we've been doing updates on Twitter. This was uh, I did them when I was here last year. So, oh shit! Yes. So this is from March 2022. So it's yep. been a minute. Yep. I mean, I would say there. It looks the same. I would say it looks the same. Yeah. Yes, very similar. Yeah. I'll start doing them again. It's even preserved the X on the bot. Right. That's fantastic. Know your way around some meat. Thank yeah, it looks guys. identical. But I do wonder, is this is this going to stay the same 10 years, 20 years? Like, are we, what kind of, are we talking on a cosmic scale? It's alive! I'm curious if, uh, if the drop did something. Because if you look, it's been dropped. Okay. I'm curious if that will introduce some... Um, oxygen. Air, oxygen in there. It doesn't look like there was. Yeah, it doesn't look like it went all the way in. A, uh, yeah, uh, I, don't, I think it's. I think it's still preserved. Okay, good, good. But I mean, you look at um, you know, bugs from the the prehistoric era. Yeah. We're talking 80, 80 to you know hundreds of millions of years, preserved in amber. Right. And I mean, this is modern day amber. Here we have a meat mountain, and we could bury this for future generations. You Future species, else? frankly. It's the you color know what of else is modern day amber? Yeah. Yo, when, yes, this is I like my eyes. Your eyes are modern day amber. <laughs> but um, Whoa. Imagine, Whoa. dude, imagine like hundred million years from now. All of humanity is dead. We've been wiped out. Mm -hmm. The earth has moved on. A new intelligence arises. Mm -hmm. They dig this up. What do you make of this? What is it? They probably try to take it out. Maybe, maybe they do like a, like Jurassic Park. They'll take the <laughs> DNA, mm -hmm. like we did from the mosquitoes and the amber, and they'll try to bring it to life. Our, uh, and I believe, and there'll be history. some horrific term? hybrid of like six different mammals that Kill make up me. all the different meat <laughs> and the <laughs> meats in there. Actually, some sort of chicken, pig, cow hybrid. It's actually quite tragic in a way. Like they they sample the beef and the mm -hmm. chicken, and then they just re they re <laughs> they revive chicken and beef just to enslave them and eat them again. That's pretty dark. It is dark, isn't it? Yeah. They're like, damn, this shit tastes good. And then <laughs> anyway, shout out Meat Mountain. Should we shout out? Should we maybe put it under Earth? We should put it bury it, bury it, maybe under the parking lot. For a year? I, I think so. I think that would be cool. I, I think it'd be cool to do an H3 time capsule. Ooh. Wow. For the for the kids in 100 years doing the H3 podcast. <laughs> right. The yeah. boys. My whole family. My yes. whole generation of boys. It's going to be a business. The thing is, I'm not ready to bury it, though, because I still want to follow the... Right. I've seen several chatters say that they feel like they saw mold on it. No. That's a I, lie. I don't think so. There's no mold, I swear to God. People said that yeah. when I posted the updates too, and it, there's no mold. There's no mold. There's no mold. Maybe, um, okay. maybe it appears that way on camera or something, but uh, yeah, no. It's the air. It's exactly. preserved. Yeah. yeah it's it just is. air pockets. Yeah. Stop it. Yeah, stop. Quit it. Not stop a, it. Not a pinch of mold on it. And I wonder, can you still buy the Meat Mountain? Uh, let me see. Meat Mountain, our. Well, I remember even when we did, it was a very limited selection of locations. Like, not every Arby's even has it. Oh, it's a secret menu item. Yeah. I see. And Arby's, if you are watching, I'm also available for being paid. <laughs> I'll resin all, the, all your whole menu. That'd be a great. That'd be a great sponsor. I'll resin Taco Bell, a family taco platter. 
There's COVID in there. That's a good point. Oh no. This has the alpha COVID in it. Oh no. Holy shit, dude. Yo, somebody's gonna open that in a million years and wipe out their civilization. <laughs> like, like the thing. Right. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ethan's a lying piece of shit. I talked about this one. Um, see you next Tuesday, but it's worth addressing here for the public. Yeah. Yeah. Like, this... you, like warheads. Do you like warheads or not no. at all? Next up, one of mine, warheads. Ethan, you lying piece of shit. You fucking. You got, he you. got me. Yeah. I listen. Like, I, you, like, I, for the. <sighs> okay. Was it worth all the lie? <laughs> First yeah, of all, was it worth all the lie? I apologize for lying. I'm deeply regretful. It wasn't okay. And actually, I have a little ditty I wrote for you guys. <laughs> now that I see the background, the only thing I've uh, groomed is my <laughs> it's my war. I don't know. Yeah. So <laughs> the only thing I've groomed are my bag of warheads. I'm sorry. I used to wash them under the water and just eat them when they're sweet. I'm sorry if that seems lame to you. To be honest though, I've always preferred atomic fireballs. The toxic boss gossip train. Warheads are too sour and I lied about liking them. Toxic warhead train. I like them but only after I wash them with water. The sour warhead train. I prefer toxic fireballs. The toxic warhead train. You wash them with water, then you eat it and lie to your friends. Listen, as long as we're having fun. <laughs> I've been eat faking eating warheads for 20 years. I wash them in the sink and then come back and pretend like I ate them. Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I kill it. The reason I lied, or maybe mis I misunderstood, is that on the snack show, they were asking, it was more about nostalgia. They wanted to unlock the nostalgia. Now, the Warheads, they have a lot of place and memory in my past, and that is why I brought them. And let's be honest, when you wash them, they taste great. Just as long as it's entertaining. Just as long as it tastes good to you. So that's why I lied, okay? I do apologize, though. For if I breached your trust, if you can never trust me again. And uh, I apologize. <laughs> Thank you. I will uh, put out a musical apology in full. Fuck me, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's right. Fuck me, right? This is pretty funny, I guess. Just some dude falling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is always good. It's Khaled's security guard. Khaled is, he's a fast skipper. He's skipping like fast. He is fast. skipping to my loo, my dude. That bodyguard, he can't keep up with those monster skips. Look at that. Boom, dude. <laughs> Pretty gracefully, though. Boom, uh, dude. <laughs> Why, what's the hurry? Why are they running? <laughs> you left your homie in the trenches, Khaled. <laughs> no man left behind. Wait, there's another angle if you let this video keep playing. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll take it. Oh, just let it play? Yeah. We got all the angles here, folks. JFK, that grassy knoll stuff. Yep, yep. Shut up, little sweet K16. Uh, you yeah. can really see. Look at the skips. Dude, he Look is fast. Distance. He is fast, fast, this fast. This man is frolicking. He's frolicking. Boom. <laughs> Good roll that time. The second one's not as graceful, I believe. Do, do, do. No. <laughs> Dan, would you like to bring up your... Theory about Khaled were about his renaissance? The part two of the renaissance? Uh, you, Are you mixing this, up Khaled? This is the wrong Khaled, my friend. I thought you said DJ Khaled. No, just... No, it's just Khaled. This is just standard Khaled. He's a Wait, musical Wait, what? Artist. Yeah. Yeah. There's two Khaleds. There's DJ Khaled ain't skipping like that. There's My a, dyslexic ass read that wrong. Not well, I mean, DJ Khaled. This is Khaled. Fuck me. 
Apologies. And he's kind of he busted on the scene a few years ago, so he kind of yeah, I know. Fuck. The Cala name is now. He's great. Oh, now I just feel dumb. You like him? I'm not real yeah. familiar with his music. Oh, he's all of them. I mean, he left his homie behind taking grenades. I know that. Apologies. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I was saying uh, DJ Khaled is oh, having right. a second renaissance. Mm -hmm. Right, right. The Khaled, the DJ Khaled content online has been pretty incredible in the last couple. He of doesn't years. miss really. I mean, he's always not missed. Yeah, but didn't take you... the hinges out the fuck boy's hand. <laughs> I feel like there was a, uh, you know, what five six years ago? Yeah, around that time, around the the jet ski video when he was really peaking on just like the online cringe. Yeah, uh, but it kind of faded into the background but i don't know i feel like he's back he's it's back. like when he got lost at sea on his jet ski his yeah. career got lost as well mm -hmm. but here i mean like yeah this is one of the recent ones this is called what that's just avocado toast this is called what turkey sausage this is called what turkey and this is called what and what is this those are pickled banana peppers and what is this <laughs> so fucking awkward. what is this <laughs> that's water bro sunday morning Khalid, by the way. Sunday breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> what is that laugh he's do he does? It's know. almost like um I don't know. Sunday morning. Sunday brunch. Sunday breakfast. <laughs> What's happening, Khaled? Yeah, we love that for him though, don't we, folks? He's also had a uh, he he's been loving cappuccinos, like the color cappuccino and coffee because he's got a new rolls tell him to bring up oh the i i agree the cappuccino color is, is really classy right so he that's like i noticed that's his thing now yeah he's that's latched, dope. latched on to yeah. he got a he got a coffee rolls yeah that much. sounds pretty classy i'm not even gonna lie no it's hype as shit yeah tell him to bring out the whole ocean <laughs> the human sound bite right tell him to bring out the whole ocean <laughs> tell him to bring out the whole ocean <laughs> Tell him to bring out the whole ocean. No, we, we know. We heard you say that. It's just all he said. Don't say it again, please. <laughs> Tell him to bring out the whole ocean. What's happening? Is he, <laughs> what is happening? He's, He's stuck, stuck in a time loop, dude. I gotta pull that. <laughs> is that funny? Not again. Don't say it again. Tell him to bring out the whole ocean. He says it exactly the same every time, too. It's That's incredible. What, is this a sound bite? Tell him to bring out the whole ocean. It's not. <laughs> Another one. Dude, he's out of control, man. Oh my god. Tell him to bring out the whole ocean. Oh yeah, it's him. Tell him to bring out the whole ocean. I mean, Why does he move it so like suave like mm -hmm. that? It's mm -hmm. a, I need to learn. Um <laughs> a friend of the show, by the way. Yeah. yeah. For those of you who aren't longtime watchers, I actually did a video with Khaled. <laughs> yes, you did. Fuck, I haven't watched that in a minute. Should we watch it? Yeah. Yes. It's, it's pretty entertaining. Another one. I have not watched this video. And maybe a decade. At the time, we were making a ton of DJ Khaled videos. <clears throat> and it was tons of fun. Everyone was loving it. And then there was a radio contest um, in Florida. He lives in Miami. And the winner of this radio contest, it was something about, like, the cutest Valentine couple, wins a trip to meet DJ Khaled. And the fans were like, we have to do this. So we entered, we completely rigged it. I mean, we, we, we were one with like 10,000 votes and second place had like 50, they said. <laughs> and when they called to tell us we won, I was like, look, just so you know, we totally rigged this. So if you don't want to give it, like, I just want you to, they said, well, listen, it was a, it, we did it to get attention and you gave us attention. I said, okay, cool. I mean, true. So they flew us out. Um, and it's funny, we... Khaled almost canceled on us. Like we were supposed to meet him this day and then he canceled and another day and he canceled. He's a busy guy, man. And then just to make good on their promise, this the last day, they're like, "Okay, you're you're going to go to his house." <laughs> just cuz we, we you know what I mean? So we we drove out to his house. God, it was so weird, dude. We were in his home with his whole, all of his posse and his clique and all these people. It was so weird. It was being like Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. <laughs> Just seeing how everything's made. We opened up our Pokemon Go app and we saw DJ Khaled on the map in Miami. So what we're doing right now is that we're driving to his location <laughs> in the map. So we're hoping to find him. The encounter oh, can okay. be dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> 
when you corner a homogeneous colonius, you need to act <laughs> cautiously. Yeah, okay. Calmly. I guess the important. I mean, we were we were goofing on him, obviously. All right. of our videos were goofing yeah. on him. I don't think it. Yeah, I'll well, just say that. But we do have all the special Pokeballs that are required to capture a Pokemon of his caliber. <laughs> so really Master looking Ball. forward to yeah. seeing what happens here, guys. Meet DJ Khaled. Oh, okay. Uh, what's your name? Ethan. Ethan, give me one second. What's your name? Ela. Ela, give me one. Cool. Thanks. This is so crazy. This happened. Well, so what's weird <laughs> is like, it's in a totally like normal looking residential neighborhood. Oh yeah. And I was like, where are we right now? Um, I had never been in a neighborhood that looked like that. Uh, to be fair, to be honest, it was like no sidewalk, massive street. Tons of grass and on all the yards it was really just felt like I was just really weird, but it didn't seem like a, it wasn't a rich neighborhood at all. There's and a lot of neighborhoods. This comp what in Florida? There's a lot of neighborhoods like that that are super random. It's it's felt very so ra random. Like around where we lived in Florida, there are believe it or not, R. Kelly and Fat Joe had a house that was like not even a mile away, and it's just random like residential. That's what. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's like yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean the house was nice and massive. Mm -hmm. It's just like he had a compound in the middle of like just a normal residential neighborhood. Mm. I was nervous, bro. I was so nervous. What is our life right now? Because dude? <laughs> yeah. I had been goofing on him for a long time and I suspected that he might be fucking with us. Uh-huh. That was my We're sitting here anxiety. waiting for Khaled to give us the thumbs up. I don't know if he knows who we are. Maybe he's peeping through like the security camera right there <laughs> and he sees my fucking stupid ass face and all of a sudden it's clicking for him and he's giving us no clearance. I don't know what's happening, but I'm nervous. <laughs> Very nervous. They're watching me in that camera. They think I'm going crazy. <laughs> They're going to think I'm going to kill. I'm not here to hurt him, dude. I just want to put him in a Pokeball. Yes, royalty-free YouTube music all day. Hell yeah. We're sitting here on the couch. I don't know if I'm supposed to talk in here. Oh I yeah, we. Right so they too. brought us into his studio while he was making music. Oh wow. And he had just got a verse from like Kendrick or something that they were listening to. Over there. And um. They just put us there. I, they didn't tell us anything. They bouncing, <laughs> but they weirdly parked their car and they closed the gate. So, <laughs> too late. It's too late to bounce. It's too late to leave. I guess we just have to wait out and see what happens. Find that door. I wonder if Pitbull is in there. That'd be dope to meet him. Little Wayne would be dope if he's there. Maybe his boy Ivan, the one who filmed him in the shower. <laughs> but mostly, I mean, I want to meet Ivan. We do meet Ivan, actually, okay, I think. We could jump the fence. Just leave the car. Oh, here. we were, okay, we were at the reception. That's where we were. We were sitting there for like 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a clean escape. DJ Khaled finished in the studio, invited us to join him for dinner. Uh, what do you name, my brother? Me, me, I'm Ethan, and that's you. Came to hang out with me in Miami. Um, and I'm recording my album. You gotta hear some exclusives. Oof. <laughs> so be ready. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Miami, DJ Cattle, we the best. And, and I appreciate y'all coming out here hanging out with Thank me. Thank you. I, I'll say, you know what I'll say? He was so nice and hospitable. He was awesome. genuinely very sweet. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very nice. Very welcoming. So, you know, for all the goofing and that, he was, he was a great, he was a very great guy. Yeah. Let's have dinner now. Hey, you make this happen. By the way, I wanted, I wanted to apologize. For oh, yeah, at the lick. time he had just opened his restaurant, Finger Lickin, I think. <laughs> Is that really what it's called? I think it's called Finger Lickin. <laughs> DJ Khaled Restaurant. And he had um, the whole meal catered, but not for us. This is what he does every day. It's just I called think. The Lickin. I thought it was Finger Lickin. Maybe it's changed. It's The Lickin Orlando. Because isn't The Lickin like getting your ass beat? Well, well, it could be interpreted that way. And he, so he catered food from his restaurant, and um, it was awesome. So the sh the chef prepared him a fat plate. He went started eating before everybody else. I, I just thought it was funny. Like they gave him a like real silverware, a real plate, mm -hmm. and then he went and started grubbing down on this massive plate. And then for everybody else, 
it was like a buffet with paper plates and plastic knives and stuff. <laughs> and I, I just thought it was funny. You know? I mean, shit, it's his, it's his place, you know what I mean? But sure. It was just funny. Leggings, merch. Oh, we see, yeah. okay, we see that. The store was sold out. You know, so, we had to make our own merch. I like that. That's <laughs> one of my favorite moments. Yeah, 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 listen, you know what's so crazy is that, um, <laughs> I just scheduled myself to go back to the Bahamas. Oh. oh. And, Same spot? And I'm timing it, because you know I got another number one, I got a few Ooh. more number one records coming. Are we going to get another Bahamas celebrate? Yeah, we're going to get another uh, celebration. No. <laughs> so just stay tuned. Oh, Let's man. go. That never happened, I don't think. I don't think that happened. No. It was all downhill for Cal since this, unfortunately. <laughs> I know this sounds weird, but do you not recognize us at all? Because we've made like a lot of videos about you. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, so, I'm so embarrassed. No, but I had, had to. to do it. Yeah, I you had, had to, to for it. the content, totally. I was there. I had to fucking do it. Like millions of views. I probably do. You guys do look for me. I'm not gonna lie. See that? I might, you know. I look. It's okay if you don't. Yeah, no, you're, you're, it's not interesting. Lie. Because they have like, like we have like 10 million views probably of videos we've made about you on YouTube. Well, we're gonna watch them again today. I think I have to. <laughs> okay, okay. We have to. Okay, just curious. So, shows. <laughs> it was meant to be for us to meet. Yeah, I yeah. think so. Yeah, I like that. I like that. How does it feel to be stupid and finger licking in DJ Khaled's studio, you know? <laughs> no it's worries. The greatest thing of life. <laughs> the greatest thing of life. It doesn't get weirder than this, to be honest. <laughs> That's that's the famous rice. Yeah. From celebrating in the Bahamas. That's the rice. <laughs> Is that rice? Wow, it's rice, dude! He made it! This is not Fukulov <laughs> friendly food. <laughs> but uh, I'm, gonna skip, I'm gonna skip that concern today. I love the meatloaf, I love the lobster, I love the chicken wings, and I love the red velvet cake. The red velvet cake, a problem. So this is it. This red velvet? This is the crown. It's the crown jewel. There's red velvet like cakes, it. and then there's a thing, thing of licking okay. red velvet. Right. It's, a, it's a different, it's a, wow. Yeah. I'm mean, just being honest. Let's right. try it. Now, what's the perfect bite? Because I got a little. It's called any piece of the cake is amazing. Any piece of the cake. We need the juice. You know you're good. You know what I'm You know I got I gotta say, when I watched you eating finger licking, I thought he's exaggerating. He doesn't nah, love nah, it that nah, much. Nah. You know, I'm gonna tell you something. The, the key with me is, if you ever see me um, promote or anything, it gotta be something I love. You know what I mean? Something that I can connect to or I like. Um, you know, of course, you know, you get opportunities and it comes. This was like the only time I have like of him talking. Mm -hmm. I had to include you it. might try it new at that one point to see if you like it. So when it comes down to that food, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep it so real. Our fans are always asking me to do Snapchat. Yeah. But I don't, I don't get it. I feel like something's missing. Can you teach me how to Snapchat? <laughs> it's all about... It's all about the iconic angle. See, like, there you go. Yeah. That, that's what you guys were talking. He's still yeah. on that iconic angle. Yeah, he's right. You know what he's talking about. Angle, like, <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you gotta get, you gotta get positive. Like, it's an iconic angle. Like, everything yeah. gotta be yeah. iconic. Also, it's gonna be my first snap. Yeah. So, uh, this iconic. Yeah, it's the angle. So, this, this is here, H3 Productions. Yes. And the key is when you get on snap, you gotta put a good message out there. Positive. Good message. Uplift yourself so you can uplift others. Hey, you know? people, what up? Just wanna say, splash up. Oh, we ran out of time. But you know, it's always just snap it up. Snap, snap it up. That's <laughs> so funny. Oh, I forgot you know, about that. So annoying. Next. 15 Next. second rule. Uh, this thing is great. Hey guys, continuing my last snap. You see it? Iconic <laughs> angle. Good message. Everybody having a good day. Amazing. Keep Amazing. having a good day. I'm here That's with right. AJ Cal. <laughs> Iconic <laughs> angles and dropping crazy snaps. Oh, <laughs> so this is Ivan the Legend, <laughs> so the director of DJ Cal in the Bahamas, celebrating number one. This is the guy. That this dude was. So there's like this super iconic. Uh, <laughs> A uh, shot of DJ Khaled showering. <laughs> right. <laughs> I can't show that. Oh yeah. no! Thank God for the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank Did God. I button that out? Yeah. Yeah, you hit it right For out. For sure. Okay, good. Yeah, there good. was a You're shot, because I remember... <laughs> I show. I used to use that clip in every single video about him. Uh huh. And then one day they all started getting like Demonet or demonetized or even age restricted. Right. Um. Damn. Hit it again. Did you not? No, but it was on the screen. It doesn't matter. If you hit the button, it doesn't matter. But it comes back after I push the button, doesn't it? It, it no. Because hitting this button a second time, it will continuously go back and rewind. How much did we cut out? I mean, now, like, almost a minute. <laughs> well, shit. Wait, really? Well, you, we don't every time it's 20 wait. seconds, and, and, yeah, well. But, Ian, was it on the screen after I pushed the button? It was. But, it was. But I'm telling you, it won't, hey, you're good. it won't be on the stream. It's all good. Fuck. I'll you're, go back and double check. So, so I'm there, double checking. Yeah. Okay, so there's a, there's a <laughs> sex scene of Khaled, like, railing somebody. <laughs> and I showed it. I used to, I already explained this, but I had to button it out. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> I didn't have it on screen. It wasn't on screen. That time. I showed it again. Uh, it wasn't another on screen. One. Okay, all right. I don't even know how to talk about <laughs> right. what just happened. Now you gotta, <laughs> now you, this is so funny. You gotta explain what happened. All right. All right. I have to you explain didn't need to again. Do it a third time. Okay. It's another one. I've explained this three times, <laughs> and every time I have to button because it shows up on the screen again. This is the third time I've explained this. So. Oh my God. And I don't know what got through. So. There's this iconic Nothing. scene. It's, it's just like three minutes straight of button screens now. Okay. So, so there's an iconic scene of Khaled railing a girl. And I used to put it in all of our videos. It's great. Very funny. Um, was, no, was he actually nailing someone's accent? No, it was, it was fake. I asked Ivan. <laughs> but it looked real. And, um... I used to put in all the videos, and then one day all the videos got age-restricted and demonetized, so I know YouTube doesn't like it. <laughs> now what happened is I explain that, and then I play, and then it shows it again. And then I have to do a button again. So this is a third button, or fourth button. I think just third. It's, it's I your skipped first forward. Repeat. I skipped forward. I don't think there's any more. <laughs> so, please let that be the last time I have to explain that. <laughs> Alright, before we left... <laughs> I literally, I just no more. Maybe we should stop watching. This. I turn off the video. Found it. The okay, video's, okay, the okay. Video's cursed. I did it again. It's just gonna keep happening. Just like I said, <laughs> Thank God. I don't. Did they hear anything I've said? <laughs> yeah, probably a little bit. Yeah, this time it was a long enough gap that they heard <laughs> another some one. Of the okay, <laughs> so it happened again because, like I said, I put it in all the videos, and then the video I was showing him, I showed it again. <laughs> Oh my God! Can I can I can I tell you Ian's notes in our side chat? Because <laughs> he ahead. notes the buttons. He says no at this timestamp and another timestamp, and then the third one says no to self. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like I wanted to. Okay, should we just bail? Yes. Because it's it's probably going to happen again. It's probably going to happen again. We're we're done. Does anyone know what happened? Was there any explanation left? Another one. All right, we're gonna bail. We're gonna bail on this. You guys can go watch the video. Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw it flash on. Wait, no. Somebody said they saw it flash. It's How? impossible. It's impossible, right? Don't listen to chat. 
All right. Thank you, DJ Khaled. DJ Khaled's Revenge. <laughs> Apparently, we did one, two, three, four, five, six buttons right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, so let's move on quickly. Uh, here's there's one more thing I want to do, and then I want to do a main segment, which is um, Demi Lovato's family's coming after me, and we've tried to think: is there a reason? What was it that I possibly said about her that set them off? Well, a Reddit user was kind enough to put together an entire list of every time we've mentioned Demi Lovato. What was it that I said? <laughs> And I would like to go over every single one. And I need a full analysis here of why the Lovatos are coming for me. <laughs> the Lovato clan. But in the meantime, does this, what do you guys make of this? I mean, this is, we talked about these alpha training ones where they pay like $15,000 to be abused. <laughs> the powerful roar of 30 <laughs> men letting go under a waterfall. So, just so. <laughs> okay, let's just watch it first and then I'll give you some context. <laughs> That's not even out of place. All right, so what's the context? So this is not some alpha retreat thing. Oh, uh, it's not? No, it's 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 a it's a group therapy kind of thing. It actually sounded very uh wholesome. Yeah. Oh. Good for I them. mean I still laughed at the video because it's funny to see a group of 30 men screaming at a waterfall. Um, but it, it, you know, they're doing it as like kind of like a cathartic uh, let the let the pain out kind of thing. Well, either way, that's what it is. But right. I, I, actually, my my um, reaction was that, you know, I was like, listen, these they, these guys are actually go they're clearly going through something. Right. So let's acknowledge that they're going through something. You know what I mean? And, and scream at that waterfall and pound that water. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you, bro. Sometimes you gotta let it out. Okay, don't let it out that much. Sometimes you gotta keep it in, too. Alright, let's talk about the Lovatos. So here we go. The Lovato crime family. <laughs> That's right. So Demi Lovato is the head of the family, as you know, Al Capone. Uh-huh. The Don. <laughs> And then I had a hard time the rest of the week. We need like a um, criminal organization chart. At the head, the Don. Oh! The, the Don Otto. The Demi, Don Otto. Demi Don Otto. <laughs> okay. And below, there's two sisters that have come for me. Two. On Twitter. Hi, sisters! <laughs> Let's pull those up just for reference. <laughs> Okay. Because now we are going in. Demi, I will find out. If I owe you an apology, I will give it to you. But I need to know what I'm apologizing you to, for. You have to earn it. Right. So here's the... here. Uh, thank you, by the way, to um, Waddles Jr. This is a fantastic that you actually put this together. I mean, <laughs> you're amazing for this. So it goes back to 2020. Uh, the first time we goofed on Demi. Uh, something about a Thanksgiving turkey. Let's take a look. Demi Lovato. It's awesome. So she's in this ad about humane, like a humane turkey ad, which I've been seeing a lot from PETA and stuff. Uh, who got memed on, by the way? I'll show you guys that next. Turkeys are bright social animals who enjoy being pet. Just ask Demi Lovato. Cut to Demi Lovato's Instagram. <laughs> I'm thankful for you all. <laughs> it's awesome, isn't it? That is pretty iconic. <laughs> it's like, whoop! Did we forget about why about this? That's so, so funny. funny. My my. The only explanation is maybe she took a picture with a turkey at some point, and then they used this. That, right. But it's that's what I was gonna say right now. Whoa! It's like you're we energetically are on the aligned. same wavelength. Yeah, because <laughs> it, it's hard to imagine them. Her not realizing she eats turkey. <laughs> you know. Sponsor. What are they doing? Farm sanctuary. Well, she cooked that fucking turkey. <laughs> She's like, hey, hey, I didn't say, just because I cooked it doesn't mean I, it's not social and doesn't like being pet. I, was, <laughs> I like that turkey. <laughs> you know, that was the, those were the ways you would be like, I love my animal and now I'm going to eat it. 
because it's cold and I need food. There it is. So okay, that was pretty. I mean, that was pretty minor. Yeah, I, don't, I doubt that. You that. can't hold a grudge over that, right? I, I would hope not. Okay, so that one we can we can give a pass on, and <laughs> you know, uh, once again. By the way, here's Debbie's sister. Just to refresh those who didn't see. I've been seeing a lot of support for Ethan Klein and Trisha Paytas lately. Let's not forget the things that they have both done to undermine multiple communities. And I will never forget about what they said about my sister. They are both horrible human beings. <laughs> Fuck them both. Okay, Madison. Listen, you could say that about Trisha. I won't even argue. But what would I... But what did I do? God, everyone gasped when I said that. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Like, she would have at least... You could have, you could have a discussion about that. Let's just say that. You know what I mean? But Ethan Klein, I mean... Paragon of virtue. That, no controversies yeah. around that guy. That's what I mean. <laughs> Undermining communities. I only build up communities. Demi's honestly one of the best vocalists right now. And their music is fire. They are doing rock now. I mean, listen, they can be, both can be true. And when I call her she, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm she good on that. She yeah. uses uh, they, them, she, her pronouns. Thank you. So Laura Sloan, we can definitely, you know, uh, admire her as both an artist and a yogurt. I mean, talk about the yogurt community. Who's undermined mm, who? So true. I left that yogurt store and didn't get the yogurt that you I You know, wanted. what about the diabetes community? Okay, so moving on. Uh, the yogurt situation, 2021. This was the big scandal. Uh, Who really is so annoying. I don't know anything about her except this post. Her documentary was great. And like, you know, everyone was on her side because she struggles with drugs. And you're like, okay, this is like good. But now it's like. Oops, sorry. Okay. Being yeah, we all got struggles, lady. So, uh, Dem Demi Lovato, 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 she said, I'm finding it extremely hard. This is some Karen ass shit, to be honest. Yeah. I find it extremely hard to order from Froyo from this place. <laughs> the fact that she tagged them is like, it's demonic. I mean, why up. are you trying to ruin these people? For like the most, when you have to walk past tons of sugar-free cookies and other diet foods before you get to the counter, do better. What is she? What is she mad about? Diet culture vultures. What is she mad about? She is mad because it triggers her because she had an eating disorder. And okay, she so like what? Diet. The world needs to organize around your. But like, so what? Get the diet food. I don't understand the. Fish. No, she's saying she diet food should not even exist because it's promoting like eating disorders and telling people that, they need to be skinny. That that's so crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Okay, so, so, and again, we were far from the only people talking about this. Yeah, it was, uh, it was all over the news. I mean, that being said, I'm right this, now, all this bunch of articles from when it come, when this happened. Hello, we everybody. did have, how many views does this, this has 5.4 million views. I know, Frenemies was fucking topping. race. I know, it's crazy, yeah, man. Dang. It is crazy. Um... So here's yogurt joke number one. Let's see. <laughs> and actually they do. Demi Lovato just did that last week, right? <laughs> right. Actually, yes. Apparently Demi Lovato does do that. But your analogy is horrible because fat people, it, being fat is not contagious. I left that yogurt store and didn't get the yogurt that I wanted. Right. Well, that is a, that, yeah. And then I had a hard time the rest of the weekend. <laughs> right. I'm so sorry that happened to her. Damn, way. it's so tragic. My heart has been bleeding for her. So again, pretty tame. Ooh, I again, I'm not sure what's happening. You know, yogurt, yogurt joke number two. Demi Lovato. Let's review. It's happening. Hey, Demi Lovato. Billboard. What? Billboard. Okay, first of all, <laughs> shout out to whoever put this together. It's clearly like a frenemies connoisseur. Kind of like holy shit. Uh, Demi Lovato, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> on the billboard. She, uh, she, her, she, as rumor has it, she's still upset about the yogurt incident <laughs> to this day. Her day is still ruined, folks. We feel so, we, feel, our hearts go out to Demi Lovato. Damn vicious, I mean, dude. You know, it's not that bad. Why? Vicious. Uh, it's just, why are you coming for me? What did I do? You went right for the jugular, Ethan. Uh, here, yeah. there's another yeah. one. Oh, yeah. I waited two minutes and I and it ruined my whole day. I mean, the real bullshit here is this tweet. Team I, pool. I, I had to. Wow, I, this it. is like my. This is like peak. Why? I look like Peter <laughs> Griffith. Yeah. 
Crazy. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's wild, yo. That Wait, what's the date on this? Uh, okay. But- <laughs> it's really, you know, I couldn't really see the difference, but now. Now you got it. Look like a damn. I'm not going to do it. Fat you be- look beautiful. Yeah. You look beautiful. Yeah. Holy smokes, though. <laughs> because I was just in disbelief. I mean, how can you? There's so much this extra out. face First there, all, is what I'm yeah. saying. It's like a lot of face. You're svelte now. Thank you. Still have a long, long way to go. My, it's slowed down a bit. I'm still going in the right direction, though. Yep. 195. <laughs> well, but we're still going. We're still in the right spot. Well, I was like, okay, he mentioned his girlfriend for no reason. Like, obviously, he's just trying to I don't think, something about her. I think that was it. That's it? was it. just an offhanded comment about her, because we're talking about Tim Pool in this clip. Okay, yeah, that's it. Yeah, you just compared him to the yogurt incident. I just got lost staring at myself. <laughs> I had another They're the only p- other people in the shop. There's, I there's another the mystery. I store and didn't get the yogurt that I there's a, there's a dude. I mean, Demi Lovato knows quite well not getting the ice and cream. And then I had it a can, hard time the rest of the week. It can fuck your whole week. Hold on. There's a dude in the background. Yeah. Is that it? It's probably it. Demi, you please provide me some receipts before you come at me that hard. I'm well, a Demi, terrib- to, listen, Demi might not want this. People moment. like that. Demi she, Lovato she, literally. Dude, if both of her sisters are publicly speaking out. You're a piece of shit. She's coming. That, this is Demi. You They're, think she's you know, puppet mastering look, all she's, this? It's racketeering. They're laundering <laughs> her opinions for her. I see. So fuck you. That, <laughs> we'll get her on her Rico charge. Absolutely. He said he, she ruined her whole ruined week. She's gonna get the yogurt had she wanted. Hard time the rest of the week. If I read that, I think it was a parody <laughs> too. But I left that yogurt store. Yeah, so I don't think there's any of this yogurt stuff. Now the next one, abducted by aliens. I seem to recall you being a lot harsher. The poot father. I. Uh, <laughs> I poot. I poot. Hi Demi. Hi girl. I poot. We love you, girly. Just love you. Th- it's just, you. Ju- just goofs, okay? You're the greatest. We'll get you from the basement soon. Mm-hmm. All right, abducted by aliens. Let's see. This was in 2021 as well. Of her newborn, Demi Lovato abducted by aliens is pretty awesome. Oh, God. She's, she is rocketing up my, my list of most hated famous people. <laughs> Real. You're, you're a terrible person, Dan. By the way, just to, um, just to, um... Still true. Dan starts it by saying, we were a little rough, I remember. (laughs) 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 Just to, um, contextualize this a bit, Ryan Kavanaugh accused by ex-partner of running a Ponzi scheme. That was alleged and retracted. Oh, true. Yeah. By variety. By, by variety. Yeah. And retracted, but not actually deleted or unpublished. No, Still available. Was, it was a tiny little annotation. At the I think bottom. go go read it yourself. Get all, all right. the facts. Yeah, it's better to read it yourself. Don't take my word for it. Yep. Dan is the queen. You can't do nothing wrong. Dan <laughs> is the queen. All right, so let's see what Dan had to say about uh, the poor, unfortunate Demi <laughs> Lovato. Fast. I mean, she's Record just time. a little kooky, isn't she? I mean, the yogurt situation was yogurt, one thing, but. And then I had a hard time the rest of the weekend. No, yeah, I get it. <laughs> totally. Well, so Demi Lovato of yogurt fame. Oh, so Demi uses they them. So I will uh, respect that. There you course. go. Already stepped in it. I'll try to. Wait, I I thought I was being respectful. You were. I might slip up just because I'm a boomer and I'm not used to saying it like that. What I I thought of, this is respectful, isn't it? I don't know. I was just. Oh, you just saying. Okay. Just, Joshing you. Or am I Arraining undermining uh, the community? I don't know what that means. No, you're saying that uh, you're going to... I'm trying. You're going to use them. And I've gotten a lot better since then. I'll tell you that. I agree with that. Thank you. Demi Lovato <clears throat> from Yogurt fame Yep. went to... She was in the news recently for going nope, to... You already fucked it up. Oh, my God. <laughs> Demi Lovato went to the yogurt store and Demi got... She, they didn't have the yogurt they wanted. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not being funny. Be funny. I'm trying. I genuinely you still hard. managed to do it again. I, I genuinely am not trying to be cute or something. No, it I know you're not. It's, I, I, I know it is. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. 
I'm trying my best. We respect here, that you're trying. And uh, Demi, uh, they did not have the yogurt they wanted, and they tried to cancel the yogurt store. Go ahead, Zach. And then I had a hard time the rest <laughs> of the weekend. It ruined. Her- so where it does ru- this go? I mean, it's, 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 where am I? Where were we going? Oh, this is the abducted by ants. Okay, I'll keep listening. Ruined Demi's entire weekend. Okay. Tragic. Well, truly tragic. Damn, well, wow. Uh, Demi has gone on the Kelly Clarkson show. Clarkson. Clark Clarkson. You got it. And Bro, are you, a, are you the host you of a show? Right. Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> are you actually, like, talk for a living? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Get it together. That they've been abducted by aliens. So this is Demi's new thing here. Yeah. Um, I had a, a night where I was dreaming, and I say dreaming very loosely because... Oh. They were dreaming. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like an <laughs> Story's over. Story's over. <laughs> I don't really know what happened, but I all of a sudden was in my room, and, and I know I said... I, I, so, the, I... I I sound. You were dreaming, I dumb sound, dumb. I, This is gonna sound so out there, but just bear with me. So I woke up in my room, and there was like three beings, and then and they they no. were like, "Do you want to see your planet?" And I was like, "Oh, sorry." <laughs> so you were like, "Hell I yeah!" I was like, "Hell yeah, let's go!" <laughs> so, so I like whooshed out of my room and was like hovering over the planet, and then all of a sudden they were like, "You want to see our planet?" And I was like. Hell yeah! Yeah, it sounds like a really cool dream you had when you were sleeping. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Then I moved to this stuff. like pink and purple planet that I've never seen, but and then what? and so that with the hypnotherapy, I was like trying to figure out what exactly that was. Was it oh like I don't want to use the word abduction because that implies that it wasn't with consent. No. Yeah. I was totally you for were, it. <laughs> it was a it was a girls' trip. <laughs> it wasn't an abduction, it was Vacay. a girls' trip. Yes. Oh, this is funny. I mean, come on. It's a little silly, girl. You gotta give us that. You know what I'm saying? Hell yes. So so I can't call it like an abduction. I called it an astral projection for a long time because I went somewhere else. Yeah. But then I realized maybe this was just an encounter that I had. Yeah. And I talk about that on the show. We actually have photos of the of the of the planet they visited. Um, (laughs) Planet yogurt, in fact. Oh no! See that that was below the belt. (laughs) <laughs> Maybe that's what they were talking that's about. That's real harsh. Hmm. Planet yogurt. So they finally got that yogurt, and that's that's why Demi's so happy. That's I, awesome. I, I, is that it? I mean, I probably probably yeah. yeah. Ducted by aliens. Soundbite tournament. Uh oh. Oh. Okay. Well, Demi Lovato had an infamous story this year. The yogurt store didn't have the yogurt she wanted, and it ruined her whole week, as you know. Uh, they wanted. This is the soundbite tournament. Wanted, yeah. Sorry. So this Thank is you. just recapping Do it you again. Think that this I, I don't know. On them, on the sisters, by bringing this up, and now we're reviewing every single thing we said about Demi Lovato. <laughs> yeah, they they may regret doing that. I might my, my, listen. Uh, let's reach out to the sisters. They might like a little back and forth situation. Yeah, it's yeah, all in yeah. good fun. Oh, okay, so here's an interesting one. A caller t- calls in and says, I've been too hard on Demi. Mm. So this mm-hmm. is, uh, this okay. isn't, maybe it was one of her sisters. Yeah. <laughs> wants to argue with Ethan being too hard on Demi Lovato. I, I, By the way, this clip is exactly shows why the call-ins were such a disaster. The call-ins were such a disaster for this show. Here. <laughs> <laughs> I left that yogurt yeah, store and she, didn't I mean, get she, the yogurt that I wanted. She's still recovering from the yogurt shop. And then I had a hard time the rest of the weekend. <laughs> Maybe I'll talk to our, uh, Adriana, who wants to talk about, uh, she, I have a problem with fat shaming. Adriana, what's, what's my problem? Talk to me. Uh, Ethan, I've been a fan for a while. I actually came from Trish and started watching you guys. Thank you. Um... I've been struggling with, like, my own body image for a while, so I guess just, I don't know. Maybe I'm a snowflake, especially after listening to the last conversation. I was like, hmm, maybe no, no, I'm not even close to what I should be I debating. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I think, I don't know, you verbally, like, 
frown upon it, I think. And I think there's a lot of like young viewers, especially you- like people that are developing into their bodies. So I think it's just important to be aware of that stuff. Are you who who do am I fat shaming myself or someone else? Uh, I like even even you. I think uh, to normalize like this is about fat shaming. Where where's the Demi Lovato coming? Putting in? your own body image down is not necessarily the best thing either. So wait wait wait. Who am I fat shaming? Okay. Yourself. Okay, so you're talking about my my oh, deprecation. open deprecation of myself for being fat. Is not healthy for people to miss see. getting calls from uh, from the viewers I like think, this. I think uh, you know, yeah. such compelling uh, stuff. I, I know, and I, and the thing is, like, <laughs> I really like to control the pace, and the, so when they start to go what I feel is too long, I can be rude or dismissive, and it's just it doesn't come off. It's not a good. It's never been a good interaction. Yeah, maybe a couple. Yeah, we had a few good things, positive things come out of it, but but you know. I don't like being rude or short with the fans, you know what I mean? And then it's just, doesn't look, doesn't feel good either. Oh, good luck. So there it is, okay, that one's, uh, I don't understand that one. Crew jokes about the last caller being Demi. Yo, she did sound just like Demi Lovato. That's I crazy. swear. Wait, she did. I That's swear. Crazy. Oh, it's the wrong, it was the wrong uh, like, timestamp here. sensitive for the show. <laughs> You know, but, I know. but, but I hope, I, but, you I know, said, no I offense. It uh, it's okay. It's okay to be fat. No, that's the I same mean, girl. I listen, but you can't stop me from hating myself. I mean, I'm sorry, but that's just never going to happen. <laughs> yeah, see? Okay. I'm, I'm not going to make yeah, yeah, it's just I'll later. try not to fat shame others, but you can never stop me from fat shaming myself. Okay. All right. I love you, Ethan. Thank I you love so you guys. Thanks so much. Thanks, Thank Adrian. Right. Love Thank you, you too. Take care. Bye. Love you. You're the greatest. Wait, it's a different call. Steph was at the front of the door. Here, here, here. Okay, here talking about that um okay so um it's funny because you were just talking about fat shaming doesn't it sound like demi right so dude it's 100 percent one of her sisters demi was just time. like she was uh, annoyed that all of the diet stuff was at the front of the store and so she left because she's like she's been fat shamed her entire life dude like, it I sounds just, just her. like her when she said life i yeah. i heard that that's nuts wait I let me that yogurt that's nuts that she's yogurt like that she's been fat shamed her entire life it's oh diet. dude that is demi lovato way to go back i go felt that i felt sentence. the same thing you yes. did the earth just shook. And so she <laughs> left because she's like, she's been fat shamed her entire life. I and I had a bad time the rest of the weekend. Like or that, her what? sister. It's, it's a Lovato. It's, it's a, a Lovato. Lovato. Dude. That would make more sense. Wait, this like. is a Lovato, man. Mm. Like That's a Lovato voice one if I've ever heard one. It's a very unique sound. Yep, the, the placement in the throat, you know yes. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Maybe not Don Lovato, but maybe sister, I think. Maybe a De La Garza. Yeah. Shaming now hmm. is having diet food. Yeah. Well, also, I don't think That's it was exactly diet food. I think it was like for diabetics. It was like sugar free shit. The, the place. Right, but she did not realize that. That's why she made the apology. Okay, she I mean, who, Apo- the way she said apology, that was a Lovato. Also, but, the giveaway is who else would call and make this argument? Yeah. <laughs> but would her sister call her she? Maybe, because wasn't it? Oh, I think at this time, maybe they just used they, them. Hmm, I maybe. think, did she ever say that her family called her she? Let me and actually part of the look reason at that. Why she, yeah, she actually, went back. Because there was something too. about an aunt, like manty, auntie or something. Dude, that would explain why she's so angry. The girl who tweeted. It has to be her. Another theory from <laughs> chat is that maybe it's Poo. Oh. oh. It's like the ch- no, Poo can't talk like that. Oh, Poo is like. And Poo's not that literate. <laughs> <laughs> Poot's like the, the brother right. of Walter. Poot yeah, lives yeah. in a cave and eats raw fish. Yeah, no, so Poot's from the basement. <laughs> Poot doesn't wait, get out. Wait, 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 wait. Sasha. Sasha, hold on. I really gotta, I gotta break something down. It's Sasha. It's what? <laughs> Sasha. Sasha? <laughs> I mean, what is this call? What is the call? It's giving yogurt energy that I said um, Sasha instead of it's Sasha. Sasha. That I it's, it's not Sasha, it's Sasha. <laughs> Yes. Wait, you have Sa- Sasha? <laughs> All right. Sasha. Sasha. Okay. All right. All right. Sasha. Sasha. Forgive oh me. God, Forgive me. Oh you. no. Oh, right, that's wait. sad. So, what happened? So you're so okay. So you no, I understood pro- the story, but I think we're seeing it differently. This guy was so cool. What happened? Atlas Cloud. Yeah. How did he die? His mm. uh, dad died last week, and his family released a statement saying <laughs> that he was really struggling. Oh no. 
You just called him Atlas Cloud. Uh, I did? Yes. Oh, Angus Cloud. <laughs> Which is a rearrangement of the film and book <laughs> Cloud Atlas. <laughs> Wait. Oh, he was so cool. He was. It seemed like he was doing so good. I really liked him. <laughs> They're going threes, man. What'd you say? They're going threes, celebrities. Paul Rubens, oh. this guy, and one more. Uh, Angus Cloud... Famous from Euphoria has died at his family's home in Oakland. The family tells us it is with the heaviest heart that we had to say goodbye to an incredible human being today. Artist, friend, brother, and son. Special to all of us. Last week he buried his father and intensely struggled with this loss. The only comfort we have is knowing Angus is now reunited with his dad. Dude, what the fuck? This is really sad. Angus was open about his battle with mental health and we hope that his passing could be a reminder to others that they are not alone. Dude, what the hell? It's that crazy. is so tragic. So sad. Man. He's 25. Sad no Man. matter what. I, I watched I was a fan of this show. I mean, I watched it, all the episodes. I like this show. And uh, I specifically really liked him. Yeah, me too. I thought he had like the whole, I mean, he had the whole world ahead of him. Yeah. Fuck. That's a shame. That's sad. Rip to a to a young, uh, talented guy. An official cause of death was not immediately confirmed, according to TMZ. The first outlet to report the death on Monday, TMZ, of course. Um. Wait, Mike Malik knew him. Seems that way. Unless that's Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't look like him. <gasps> oh no. Damn, bro. Hmm. There it is. Check on your loved ones, people. You know? Anyway, uh, back to Demi Lovato. <laughs> Should have waited to the end to read that. We need Taco Bell or something. Fuck. Yo, how, why is it taking so long for that Taco Bell right now? Lena. No, Zach, don't play the bell. No. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon for the bell. You said Taco Bell. Oh, right. Taco Bell. Is that was a Taco uh, Bell bell? Taco bell. Uh, it was a Taco Bell, though. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Close one. Yeah, De I uh, here from Sarah, a comment said, Demi wants, Demi fans bullied a journalist, I know, into privating his Twitter for the first time in his career for a critical review he wrote for her RS. He wrote for RS, oh, Rolling Stone. Made fake tweets to look like he mocked her OD. That, they're crazy. Hmm. I am tripping about this sounding like her, Having though. diet food is fat shaming. Well, kind of. I mean, she was just talking... What? This is a real person saying having diet food is fat shaming. It has to be her. Talking about diet culture, you know, it's fucking everywhere. And, and then she says diet culture, and then in the tweet she said diet culture vulture. Ooh. Well, there's lots of. I, I, are, that's like the buzzword. Lot. Yeah. Like we're both heavy, me and you, and it can get annoying if you're female. Watch it. Female, if or you're her female. mother. Hmm? I've watched her doc. That could be her mom. It sounds very young, though. The voice. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I'm gonna see if I can get a video <laughs> of her mom speaking. I shamed your entire life, like since like How I was ten. having. <laughs> Someone said the Taco Bell now. Good. <laughs> Pretty good. Diet food. You know? How is having diet food fat shaming you? I just, I can't, I well, can't understand that. It? People think it's Demi. I swear to God, dude. It's crazy. First of all, again, she didn't realize it was a diabetic thing. So okay, forget like, about that. Let's just assume. How do you know that? She didn't realize it was a diabetic thing. How do you know? Because it's Demi fucking Lovato I'm talking to. <laughs> But even if, even if, Demi, I'm talking to you now, because clearly you're watching. 
even if it was, even if you didn't know it was a diabetic thing, you're still a dick. You know what I mean? Because you're, you're, you took your ignorance for granted and dogpiled on this yogurt shop. Dude, I swear to God, this is her. And what, it's di- what makes okay. it a diabetic thing other than just being sugar free? Well, cause, cause it's not, cause there's people that aren't about diets that want to have sweets and don't want to. Right. Die and that's the it. case for like all things that are sugar free. So, right? so, so you're saying, how did she not know it was a diabetic thing? Yeah. Like that's kind of, it's silly. Yeah. It's silly. Right. So here's the second end of my argument. She is newly sober, or was when she made the post, right? I'm newly sober, too. You know, I'm going on like... She's... she's, she's there's too many parallels. She goes, mm. she's newly sober. I'm also newly sober. Mm. Really? And what is your name? <laughs> Sasha. <laughs> Seven years. A fakest name ever. <laughs> Sasha. Holy fuck. Uh, Olivia's checking her name against uh, her mom. There's hard stuff. And for the first, like, five years, I purposely gained weight. I said I'm not going to think about anything other than, like, being happy. And okay. so I feel like, you know, we were on the same level. And so, like... She's, purpo- she, she, she's, she's purposely gaining weight. Dude... She's way too spiritually aligned with Demi. Got it. I just understood why she made it. It's just a like stupid, what, 10-second post, right? No, she but the effect was, of know, her post was that she, she, like, called this place out by name and sent, like, a mob of hate because they dared to have <laughs> diet food. That's, that's crazy. <laughs> uh, how is having diet food okay. fat shaming? This lady explain? has, like, a tiny twinge more of an accent than Demi does, and so does her mom. Do, can we hear, listen to her mom? It's, yeah, it's uploading right now. I don't okay, 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 okay. <laughs> uh, it's a product I that do, some I people consume. <laughs> maybe she didn't. She can go she fucking get stupid. the normal shit. Just walk by it. I mean, if you're going to get offended yeah. by <laughs> diet food, how can you exist in this world? How can you even breathe without being offended by the sunshine because you're pale? I don't understand that. How can you live your life being offended by <laughs> diet food? That seems a takes you way too far i think she was just okay she shouldn't have called them out i don't care about her now i'm asking you hard on her considering dude i I, it has to be it has to be her or someone in her family this is this is unreal you guys somebody out there demi lovato detectives you guys need to like crunch the numbers and check the sound waves and stuff it's her sister they both recently got into sobriety together it's got to be someone in her family i'm reading the comments dude it sounds exactly like her bro this you is know, gotta you go could quick maybe understand was saying you know hey like can we just chill it with the diet bullshit you know well i was i think people were mostly pissed at how she like sent a horde of hate on this tiny little well, mom and pop store guys- also i'll say listening to this call i think i'm being really fair and reasonable with this caller if it is Demi or the family member, I don't, I, you know what I mean? I don't, I wouldn't hold a grudge for this conversation. It seems like I'm being patient and fair with a relatively silly point of view here. Fuck. You got that mom thing, Olivia? It's at 15% checking. Why, why is it so slow? Oh, it's checking yeah. for claims. I see. I see. Oh my God. Oh, bro, it sounds just like her. Okay, so let's see. Discussing a tweet from Demi. Wait, what is this Demi Lovato tweet? <laughs> Somebody, who sent this or who found this? About to put Olivia. this airline on Olivia. blast. Olivia. Oh, Olivia. shit. <laughs> oh, on 9-11? On 9-11? Is that real? No, no, that part is edited in the <laughs> meme. <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. Okay, that's just a goof. They couldn't be mad about that. Okay, it says no restrictions right away. Send me that link. Okay, okay. All right, so we're going to listen to Demi's mom. Um, Is there a video of her sister talking? She was in her documentary, so I assume so, but I didn't. I can look for it after. Here. Uh, discussing. Uh, okay, here it is. Here it is. Thank you, Olivia. Just Here's, like you just have to listen for like five seconds. Take us back to that morning when you got Wait, the just news fast forward. that your daughter Demi was. Fast forward. Fast forward. Because really this is like an emotional okay, thing. Th- th- this is her. Okay. 
thing to talk about. Um, I literally start to shake a little bit when I start to remember what that happened sounds... that day. And I do remember you texting. You're not wrong. I know. There we, is something was, to that. But they, I know. They, but the fact that they all have similar voices even speaks to the like that this this has to be her. If I'm if I may say her mom sounds a, a little more nasally than. The but it's caller. on the phone. That That's true, too. That is true. Hold on. Let me pull up. Can you do me a favor, Cam? Yep. Okay, let's pull a clip of her talking from this video. Mm -hmm. And then a clip from that caller. And let's get them side by side so we can hear them one and then the other. On it. Get Demi talking and then it, and get her mom talking and then it. On and it. if you can find anything of the sisters too, that'd be great. Uh, yeah, I can look it. for those too. Okay, and thank I'll you. send them to you, Cam. Okay, thank we're, you, we're, getting, we're going to the laboratory to, on this one. Yes. We're going to see a side of this shit. What is that music, Zach? It's like X Files crime. It was? Play it. It's not the actual X Files. No, I know, but it just wasn't giving me that vibe. Oh. Maybe it's just I can't hear it. Yo, people. Do it. Can we do a poll? Like, I genuinely, I don't think I'm being crazy. It, is this Dem, someone in Demi's family? I really think it's her mom. I, I is this a Lovato? Is this a or no, no, dude? Also, if it is, awesome. We would like love to meet Call you. Call in. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk. Apparently, you guys hate me. Shit. People are saying I think it's her sister. I think it's her mom. That's nuts. Is this a Lovato? Be honest though. Don't blow smoke up my ass and Our just sister. vote yes unless you really mean it. Dude, 87% yes. Yep. Not 86% yes. Yep. We never see positives that commanding. 86% yes. Get this to the media. Call the presses for oh real. Oh my God. Like, this is big news. You know, it would be a vibe if Demi came on the show and we could go out to a yogurt store and do it, the interview there. That would. I agree. Just as a way of coming full circle. That's 86% yes. Holy shit. Yep. Wow. Wow. Rating Demi as cringe but harmless. What is this one? The fake article. Demi Lovato fatty. Fan claims Lovato <laughs> called her fat bullied her. But one of my favorite internet website? stories. Is this a real article? I, this was probably published before they realized that it was fake. Okay. Or something. So it's a fake, and we say it's fake. Nothing wrong with that. Um, and then rating Demi as cringe but harmless. Demi Lovato. Um, she's not an enemy of the show. I mean. Cringe but harmless. Yeah, that's if that's fair. that's a good category. Yeah. That's a great rating. That's 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 amicable. Cringe but harmless. Uh, Poot Lovato PowerPoint. This may have. Do you no, think Demi's uh, mentioned poop before? Finally, she happened. doesn't care about the poot. I don't think so. She, yeah, no, she doesn't care about the poot. And you really gonna get upset when I look like this? <laughs> Been in the works for weeks now. That's Ethu. Aww. Yeah, right. this, ew, this is ew. a segment ew. we ew. have meme history. The great memes of history that you may have missed or you may like to be refreshed on. That's right. Poot. Lovato. This is a pretty long that segment, mean? but. Push. Phone. We even debunked it, though. We said it's a, the poot is fake. Yes. So what could it be? Well, one really valuable thing came out of this. We joked about it when it happened that it sounded like her. But it is actually her or someone in her family. It has to be. The poot is strong with them. Wow. Wow, man. Wow. Wow, wow man. Can we tweet at them from the show, the two girls that tweeted at me? From the podcast, just tag them and be like, Ladies, I would like to apologize to you and your sisters and your whole family. Let's, uh, let's connect. 
over some full sugar yogurt. Hmm. Or whatever type of yogurt your heart desires. Can we actually do that? I would love, I think that's an awesome idea. Let's tweet at him, because th th this is real. And then as Cam works on that, I guess we'll move on to another topic here. But legitimately, how long does this ta Taco Bell take to deliver? I mean. Lena is looking into it. I don't know what's taking so long. She's on the, f she's trying to call them right now. How long has it been? It's been like two hours. Has it been two hours? I don't, I don't think it's been that long, but it says, it says expected 3.30 to 3.40. Okay, so that's like right now. Let's see, we were discussing Taco Bell orders at... Uh, it was like uh, 2, 159. It was like around 2 o'clock. It's been an hour and a half. Anyway. I'm sure that food's gonna taste good. Nice Taco Bell sitting for two hours. Hell yeah. Alright, let's talk about, um... Let's do an Ariana follow-up. We had uh, a fantastic show, I thought, on Friday. A uh, phenomenal show. Olivia brought out the big guns, the Ariana PowerPoint. And I was quite surprised, personally, by some of the reception to it. There's a group of people out there who hate Ariana Grande. Apparently, they fucking hate her. And the reason, and the, well, they, 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 I think they shared their hatred unfairly with Olivia. Um, uh -oh. they, they, they accused you of being a, a sellout, an Ariana uh, bias. maybe stan bias? Yeah, first of all, before it started, I stated my bias that existed. Mm. Secondly, I never defended what she did. What she did was literally disgusting and horrible. I just kept saying, oh my God, I can't believe that this is real. Yeah, I don't think you were saying this didn't happen. You were just no. shocked as yeah. a fan of hers. And I was like playing up the denial maybe for comedic effect. I did not feel that in any sense you were defending her. Thank you. In fact, I mean, the whole damn presentation was very critical of her. I mean, yeah, if I, if I was trying to defend her, I just wouldn't have done it, you know? And some people were like, no, she left out stuff about people cheating. And I did talk about it towards the end, but there are just like, there are different stories. So it's like, do I really want to talk about whether or not she possibly got with someone when they were on a break from a relationship versus like if they were actually fully broken up at the time? Like, no, that's kind of boring. I don't really want to talk about it. <laughs> like, now, I want to talk about SpongeBob. There were a few things that came up interesting that we can supplement on, but I can't emphasize just how weird people were about this. In the yeah. comments, it was like, She's a she's an Ariana apologist. I literally I stopped. She's looking. such a ridiculous. hypocrite. Yeah. And it's like chill, you guys. You know what I mean? And I, I, it was Olivia's birthday weekend. You bastards. Literally. No, I just stopped looking. That's good. I had a. Good I was time. gonna message you about it to no, check no, on no. you, but it was your birthday, and I was like, I'm not Ela gonna bring this me. up. It was very kind. Ela did. She did. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. I didn't want to mess you on your birthday, make oh, you think you. about that. No, no, no. But Everything you... was totally good. Okay, good. And Ela made me feel very loved. That's nice. I didn't know she did that. Good for her, sweetheart. Mm. But, um... Yeah, and someone made a good analogy. It's like... When, when Ian was in his Kanye uh, awakening... Is almost like what Olivia is going through now with Ariana Grande. <laughs> is that possible? I mean, Ariana did something horrible. But yeah. it, it does seem that there is a track record of her doing horrible things. One thing that mm -hmm. stuck out to me that I totally forgot was the donut incident. Now, um, this is from 2015. How old was she then? In 2015. She's not that old, right? She must be. She was about 22. Okay. That donut, okay. Okay, I mean, should know better. So she was filmed on a camera at this donut store being like a total douche. 
Uh, and also she made this really funny apology, but here's everything. Um, here I am apologizing to y'all. Oh, to be fair, it's giving Travis Scott and nobody died. <laughs> she also, her apology video was directly after her wisdom tooth surgery. You know everything. I know. <laughs> so what does that mean? She just started, starts the video by saying like, I think they cut it out of this clip, but she starts her apology saying like, I'm sorry, I literally just got wisdom tooth surgery, but like, I want to do this right now. Okay. Um, here I am apologizing to y'all. Seeing the video to of yourself behaving poorly that you have no idea was taken is such a rude awakening that you don't, it's like you don't know what to do. I, I was so disgusted with myself. I wanted to I like shoved my face in the pillow and wanted to disappear. So I guess I don't know what that means. She's in a donut store. They brought a fresh tray of donuts and she said, I hate Americans. Based. <laughs> but you're in a donut store. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I don't really get it. I don't get it. I don't. But th that's not it. That's not all that happened. I think it's possible a donut was decorated like an American flag, but I might- I hate America? I think she's Fine. like, oh my god, that's huge, I hate America. That doesn't bother me. What happens is worse. Dies for my- Donut gate. Words ...and for my behavior. It's been rough, but, um, you know, I made a mistake and I'm being judged for it. So she licks a donut on display. That's- yeah, it's fucked up. That's weird. That reminds me, you remember when, when people were going in the grocery store and licking ice cream and putting it back? Oh, I, that was the fucking worst. That's what you she's doing. That. She's doing that. Yeah, it's gross. That's like the worst, oh, he, that's like the worst edgy, dumb teenage bullshit ever. This is like death to all teenagers stuff. <laughs> Button? Uh, no. Probably fine. fine. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm Death to all Jews. That's way worse. <laughs> that is worse. Yes. <laughs> a lot worse. So she did it. She, they were licking the donut, which is pretty vile. You know what I mean? Okay. So there's Donut Gate from when she was 22. Right. Which is bad. It counts for something, I guess. Um, what was there? Uh, this was part of the criticism that this was not included. It was, yeah, it was. Yes, it wasn't included. That relevant. I agree. Yeah. Well, they the beg to situation. differ. So. <laughs> what? I, I don't think the presentation uh, uh, specifically suffered for not. Right. I don't think it donut necessarily cake. would have benefited yeah. from this inclusion. But this part. I mean, it's funny part, I guess. So this part, though, this was about the amount of times that Ariana Grande. Has broken up relationships, mm -hmm. bit taken, taken men, and yes. so this is, I think, relevant and very relevant, right, in terms yes. of what we're talking about. Sure. So let's watch this, and then you can talk about it. Uh, right. There's an there's another video that like counters this video, just so I included everything. Okay. So here is. But this photo is so fucking funny. I don't know why. <laughs> it's literally seared into my brain. <laughs> They're so bleached. The dude looks like a worm with a face on it. Like an earthworm. He's an earthworm Jim. I don't know what that means. He's a cheater. <laughs> You've seen this? <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, I love her. Not that's not Ariana Grande. I don't love her. <laughs> right, make that clear. Very clear. I'm yeah, mad Ariana. at Ariana Grande. All right, so here we go. Grande and her long history of cheating <laughs> in relationships. So, 2013, High Brooks accuses. Is this song claimed? There was no claim, no. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Ariana for cheating on him with Nathan Sykes. Same year, 2013. Rumors started going around that Mac Miller and his longtime girlfriend Nomi broke up because he cheated on her with Ariana. In 2016, Naya Rivera revealed in her book that Big Sean allegedly cheated on her in 2014 with Ariana when she walked into her house and Ariana was there. That's not what. In 2018, 
Mac Miller's ex-girlfriend Nomi revealed on her Tumblr blog Mac cheated on her again with Ariana in 2016. In 2018 there were rumors Ariana cheated on Mac with Pete Davidson, while Pete was in a relationship with Cassie David. In 2020, Cassie said, This does look pretty demonic. The track record is Cassie's, questionable. In Cassie's book, she literally says that Okay, hold she, on, hold on. Let, let, okay. Let's get through this and then okay, you can okay, debunk okay. it all. She found out Pete was cheating on her with Ariana through Instagram. In 2019, TMZ reports that Ariana and Big Sean were getting cozy in the studio together while he's dating Gene Aiko. In 2020, Dalton Gomez's ex-girlfriend posted this on her Instagram story. When you see your ex with the person they told you not to worry about. That Ooh. is that I was very compelled by. I hadn't seen that. Oh, you had it. That I will say I was moved. In 2020, Dalton uh, Gomez's ex-girlfriend posted this on her Instagram, fueling the rumor that Dalton cheated on her with Ariana. Fueling the rumors that Dalton cheated on her with Ariana. In July 2023, it was announced Ariana and Dalton are getting a divorce. Ethan Slater and dude, I mean, look at all this. It's like she. It's easy to assume that she has a thing for breaking up families that like it turns her on or something or makes her feel powerful. It, because why else would she want to fuck this dude? Okay, so one hundred percent, I believe Anybody? when when <laughs> girls participate in like knowingly taking other girls' partners. It has to be that like they just want to be they want to prove to themselves that they are the hottest and best woman and they could be they could literally take any they could have anybody that they want. Mm -hmm. They're trying to like fill some sort of like craving that can't be filled and won't be filled. And like yeah. she'll just dump him later and then she'll find another grandpa with a family that's what i see if, it, if the, all this is true i mean it's like really psycho like really yeah, narcissistic 100%. freak shit i feel the same way comment section i also hate this <laughs> his wife are separating and now it's announced ariana and ethan are dating all in one week fueling the rumors they cheated she fucked spongebob you guys okay so so what's your retort to this so I included another video that I had seen before the presentation, and I was just like, oh, okay, so I, I guess I won't really mention it because the details are fuzzy. And Naya Rivera debunked that herself, and it's in this. She was like, no, I literally walked in, and they, she was sitting on a couch, and they were working on their duet. That did come out a few months after that. Okay, so here is the Ariana Grande stan to the rescue. Let's see what he says. Right, and he is biased. By the way. Okay, well, both the of facts these videos are facts. Are biased. You know what I mean? Facts are facts. Let's see what he says. That they're still married was spread by a journalist at Page Six who notoriously does not like Ariana Grande. So that one she fucked up on. Like, you can't even argue on that, that one, no, dummy. I wasn't listening to that. Yeah, that, come on. Those rumors that they're still married was spread by a journalist. Why do you care? Blah, blah, blah. Like, you don't, Ariana you don't even... fucked up this situation. Don't even argue well, about it. Well, also, the wife, I think, came out publicly and was yeah. like, they cheated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. She said a lot. Uh, why do you care about her, dude? She, you don't even... She, it's like, why do you care? Journalist at Page Six who notoriously does not like Ariana Grande. To further... By the way, she's like, yeah, Page Six doesn't like her. Okay. That's just, like, your opinion, dude. Dispel the homewrecking rumors. Cassie David wrote in her book that she broke up with Pete, making him single, before he went and dated Ariana Grande. Now, I, I feel like this guy would lie to defend her. Do we know that's true? <laughs> he would. I mean, that first take is so stupid. You know, maybe. Rivera clarified that Big Sean did not I know cheat that on her. When Pete Davidson tells the story of how they met, it's that Scooter knew that he was in the dump, like down in the dumps, because Cassie broke up with him, and um, she he knew that uh, Ariana thought he was cute. Okay. But um, Cassie claims in her book that she was fearful to end things with Pete due to sensitive state of his mental health, but decided to initiate a break because she was unable to convince him that she loved him. And that was in March, and they got okay. together in May. Okay. Or maybe April. So we can debunk one of the... There was a lot. Let's see. With Ariana Grande, she walked in on them sitting on a couch listening it's to music. It's also just like, I know that this stuff is, like, relevant yeah, slash maybe. compelling, but it's like... Slushy? Is it important enough to include in like kind of. 45 slides of this situation that I'm actually telling you guys about? I, 
Yeah, you're telling a story. You got to keep it a little bit focused. I do think that the history is interesting. It yes, is pretty damning. I, it is I pretty do damning. too, but the blurriness of it. And also, I will say, my bias maybe is the reason why I didn't include it uh, subconsciously, and I apologize, and we're showing it now. Like you said, you disclosed a bias, and you're And I also to. said this stuff at the end. Right, right. That's true. We did talk about like, it. Like, right. sorry, guys. It, but, al it also doesn't fucking matter at all. Thank you so <laughs> much, yeah, Dan. Thank you so much. Just just pointing that out. Thank you. Talking about celebrity gossip Thank on, you. on a comedy podcast. Excuse me, Dan. Oh, wait. Back it up a little bit. Do not disparage <laughs> uh, the seriousness of this show, sir. Baja Blast time. Dan is the queen. Can't Did anyone get wrong. full Dan Baja is Blast queen. or is it all diet? Oh, I'm full, baby. Okay. Cause why I'm, are you? I'm afraid that mine. Why are you fucking me up with this diet culture bullshit? Sorry, bro. I just want to make sure that this is diet. This one definitely has sugar. I'll tell you that. Okay. On summer 2014, right when they put out a song together. Never said they were cuddling. Yeah. I never said he cheated. Mm -hmm. I said she was sitting on a couch. Right. Okay, and you walked in on them once. Ariana That's Grande it, you know what I mean? And they were working on their oh, duet. Baby. Thank you. They were what? They were working on the duet that came out at that time. Okay. All right, let me see what's It was going just on like, there. oh, is that important? Jay Brooks for threatening her and telling her that if she didn't come back to him, he was going to make her look bad to the whole world. Starting rumors she did that she cheated that. on him, but she did not. Here's a video of what Ariana has to say about being accused of being those rumors that they're still. Okay, so even with all this, she still has done it enough times where you're like, hmm. it's enough where it's like weird, but it's also like, can you fault someone for dating someone after they dated someone else? I see what you like, mean. Like, does though. she have a moral obligation to Cassie Davidson to not hook up with Pete because they were on a break? No, that one's bullshit. Yeah, that one sounds like bullshit. And that's like her most recent. I didn't see the Dalton one until today, which is crazy. It does seem like there's enough propaganda on both sides. Yes. People that hate her and people that stand her. That it is a little iffy. Right, and I maybe I should have put this video in it. You're right. Well, we don't need to speculate. I mean, the conclusion's the same. I agree. I, yeah, the conclusion is the same. Ariana Grande did something horrible and disgusting. And so did that man. So Ariana, is Ariana like um permanent L for this? Is she canceled? I don't know how any of her fans are going to look at her. It's just like... Pretty scummy. That's crazy that you did that and that you know that all of us know that you did that. Mm-hmm. I think people still listen to her music, but I think people always think of her as like a scum. Yeah. By the way. Also, R.I.P. Naya Rivera, obviously. R.I.P. what? Naya Rivera. She died a few years ago. I don't know who that is. The woman who said that she walked in on Ariana sitting in the couch. Oh, rip. Sorry, guys. I'm trying my best not to chew into the mic. I promise. <laughs> uh, we got the video from Cam. On the Demi Lovato crunching. Yep, thank you, Olivia, for helping me. Oh, um, thank you. Yeah. Here's a, ar a new article. Wait, Ian, you're an Ariana Grande stan too, aren't you? I, d I completely forgot to call on you. Oh, wait, I think the taco bell's here. <laughs> wait. I gotta go get my uh, taco. From Kanye to Ariana. Well, I haven't seen her, I haven't seen her uh, say anything about Hitler yet so far, so... <laughs> That's true. Different scale. She's in the, the yellow zone. It's not full red alert. DEFCON. All right. Wait till she, she's got a wish genocide on a minority group. Yeah, prejudice. She's still far off from that. Although, if you ask people in the comments, they might disagree. That's what I'm saying. <clears throat> Here's a headline from yesterday. Ariana Grande giving boyfriend Ethan space to work things out with his estranged wife. Dude, that's so iconic. So he broke them up and she's over it already. <laughs> I think that's her PR team being like, we're breaking this up, at least for the public eye. I want it to be real. I mean, this I mean what, I that's what he deserves. I think so too. What an idiot, bro. You fucking moron. You really think that you guys are going to be happily ever after? It's like the curse of mid men in theater, mid straight men in theater. 
They have the craziest god complexes. It's ridiculous. Because they get everything they want. There are so few of them, really, in, in troops normally. So they always get the lead. So they're always told that they're incredible. They don't need to get better. Um, and all of the girls are in love with them. Really? Yes. Yeah, so they think they're the fucking hottest. Why are the girls in, in the love world. with them? Just because because he's... they're the only. They're like, if you're a straight, uh, if you're a straight girl and you like cis men, that they're they're only like. Your options are fairly two. limited in the world of slim pickings. Theater. Is it like the boy next door? Is that? I mean, a thing? I was never really a theater boy goer for her, but. Um, Would you fuck yes. SpongeBob? Not Would him, I fuck SpongeBob. SpongeBob? Square pants? Yeah, the the original one. We could talk about it. <laughs> Who wouldn't, dude? Yeah. yeah. Right? Who wouldn't? Come on. Nicest person ever. Do we know how old SpongeBob's supposed to be? I don't want to talk about it. After that question. <laughs> Let's Google that. How old is SpongeBob? SpongeBob is of, of age. You think so? <laughs> He's of course SpongeBob he is. SpongeBob of age. Dude, he, old? He's a homeowner. He's dry. He drives. Hold on. Bro. He's a homeowner. He's got a job. That's true. He lives by himself. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. He's an adult. He has a driver's license. It says, in the episode Sleepy Wear Time... Wear pants, dude. Hold on. In the episode Sleepy Time, fans get a glimpse of SpongeBob's driver license, which lists his birthday as July 14, 1986. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's, yeah, he's an adult. He's, he's, yeah. he's not an adult. <laughs> Given the episode Sorry. aired in 2000, though, that put him at 14 years old at the time. Well, we didn't say we wanted to fuck 2000 no. SpongeBob. What the fuck? We well, want to fuck 2023 20, SpongeBob. I was born just one year before that, so we're the same. He's aged like fine wine. Yeah. No, you weren't born in 1987. <laughs> Nine, you said 2000 SpongeBob. Yeah. I was born in 99. I was gotcha. born 2000, dude. Oh my god. 1985, dude. Your brothers would sponge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. All right, let's watch this. Forget Ariana. We're going back to Demi. Thank God. Here it is. <laughs> no, I'm I'm not a fan. Um, it bugs me because you've been you've been telling the story wrong, and so it makes me wonder: Would you not make the jokes if you knew the correct story? Dude, that is her. Who would even say that? You don't know the story, right? Okay. Right. I mean, there was there was this core group of girls who were, I'm it, honestly in my eyes, no pure way, f evil. Uh, annoyed that all of the diet stuff was at the front of the store. It's I literally start to shake a little bit when I start to remember what happened that day, and I do remember. It sounds like the sister. Mm. More. I thought, I thought that sounded pretty me. spot on. The sister. Yeah. I want to hear the mom say a word that ends with O R E. O R, which is what actually she said on the phone. On my phone, and all these texts started coming in, just text after text after text, and I thought, what is going on? It's okay. Sasha. Sasha. Um. This is gonna sound so out there, but just bear with me. So I woke up in my room, and there was like three beings. <laughs> they no. were like, do you want to see your planet? She was just talking about diet culture, you know? It's, there have been it's a couple of like her, too. Planet. Wow. Diet culture. Oh, this is the other, the other sister, okay. And both these sisters are angry at me. Does she have two sisters only? Because mm, that means her whole inner circles. Fuck Ethan Klein. I see in three listed on Google. Yes, it says three. An older full sister named Dallas, which is who we saw first. A younger maternal half sister actress, Madison De La Garza, who we see now. And then Amber, but I don't know much about Amber. There's not public. Yeah, Amber's stuff. on my team. Team Amber. Team Amber yeah. Eyes. <laughs> team Amber Eyes. Well, times where I thought. If that's how she wants to go out, then God damn it, let her go out that way. But I don't think you truly ever really give up on someone like that. Not her. One more time. Dude, I'm fully convinced it's one of these people. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not a fan. Um, it bugs me because you've been, you've been telling the story wrong. And so it makes me wonder, would you not make the jokes if you knew the correct story? Right. I mean, there was there was this core group of girls who were, I'm it, honestly in my eyes, pure f evil. Dude, that one is insane. Hmm. It's either her or Demi. I don't think it's the mom. I don't. Uh, a 
annoyed that all of the diet stuff was at the front of the store. I literally start to shake a little bit when I start to remember what happened that day. And I do remember you texting me. I was actually looking at my I, I don't phone. think it's the mom. Her, her she's, old, she's got a little raspy from age. Mm, but the phone kind of smooths and rounds out the voice. You know what I mean? Uh, to me, it's between the first sister and Demi herself. Okay. And... Demi herself would be crazy. Be. Just text after text after text, and I thought, what is going on? It's Sasha. Sasha. <laughs> this is going to sound so out there, but just bear with me. So I woke up in my room, and there was like three beings. They no. were like, do you want to see your planet? She was just talking about diet culture, you know? It's there have been a couple times where it's I It's not her. If that's how she Dude, it, it's her or her sister. It it's, has to be. It's Demi for sure. You think, think it's her? Demi, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dude, that would be so oh, fucking no. crazy. I it's think hard it sounds... to believe that she would be that invested to be calling into random podcasts. But, and... like, that tweet proves that they are invested. Mm -hmm. Like, why do they... Why are they thinking about me and Trisha? I think it most sounds like Demi, too. That's my vote. This is Demi. Let's yeah. do a... We gotta do a poll. In my opinion, it's Demi... Or her sister Dallas, which was the first one, right? Wants to go out. It bugs me because you've been you've been telling the story wrong, and so it makes me wonder: Would you not make the jokes if you knew the correct story? Shot right? is the mom. I mean, there was there was this core group of. This is insane. Shot so, thinks it's mom. So, the options: Demi, the mom, Dallas, which is the sister. That's the only three. The, I don't Those think three? it's the last one. I don't hear it. So Demi, Mom, Dallas, the sister. Okay, let's see what the community thinks. I am fully convinced it's one of these people. Dude, it's Dallas. The people agree, that's what I voted for too. 57% Dallas. It has to be. In Texas. <laughs> it all makes sense. She's like, you don't know the whole story. It's like, okay, were you there? Yes, I was there. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. Dallas Lovato called into our show. Fact. <laughs> <laughs> in your opinion. That's a fact in my opinion. That's just a fact. How do we... Fa is, is there any way we can prove this? I mean, we can reach out to them. Phone do we, number? Do we have any historical data of the caller, Dan? Um, I mean, it does keep logs. How can we figure... Uh, we can find out the date. I would have to... It'd be tricky to figure out. Dude, Dallas is at... I'm sweating right now. <laughs> We're about to pull her number. Call her back live. Find. Let me see what I can find. It so, might it might have been too long ago, but how far? So this was in um, like 2021. Yeah, 2021. Yeah. The case yeah, is good, know. by the way. It's better than I remember. AB. What's good? The oh, yeah. chicken quesadilla. I love it. They kill the quesadillas over there. They kill it. Yeah, I'm not... It was March 7th, 2022, actually. March 7th, 2022. I, I don't... I'm still looking, but I'm not seeing a way to look at the archive. If you can't find it, is there a chance we could subpoena the company? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I suppose there is. I want to search their data center. I need to pull some of their hard drives for data analysis. Well, I am going through the Twitters on that day. Did you see if there's any passive aggressive tweets? Interesting, good <laughs> idea. We have to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, People watching, help us. What did she say her name was? Sasha. Sasha. That's gotta be a hint. Sasha you know, sounds like the mom's accent. Sasha. So there is a name, uh, S A I S H A. 
Yeah. Which sounds like that would be pronounced like that, right? Yeah. So I just wonder if uh, any of them something? have like a friend. Maybe That's they it. follow it's, somebody. Because like be that's such a strange name that to come up with that. I feel like you would have to know somebody named that. You know? uh, uh, CG Cartel said, have Zach sound by each of them saying a certain word and play it back to back. That would be good. Um, Scott has a really good point. He says, it's definitely Dallas. I don't think the mom would care enough to call in. The sisters are younger and on social media enough to tweet. Yeah, I don't think the, you know what I mean? That makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. Do they have any aunts? Or like extended any family. other extended family <laughs> that might be public figures? Sasha... Sasha Lovato. <laughs> Sasha. Sasha. Guys, you gotta help us. We need a whole team spirit on our team effort on this. <laughs> this is Cam nuts. Cam, you said March seven. Say oh. that. Say what? What? I'm sorry, Cam. You said March seven was the day. Yeah, 2022. I guess we should do this too. If you're that person and you're watching. Like, get in contact with us. I don't know how they'd prove it, but yeah, yeah, they'll start there. Right. If you're still a fan after all we've said and done about <laughs> yeah. your sister. Fat chance. Dude, don't say fat chance when I'm talking about Demi. That's not, <laughs> That's not what I meant. Uh, it doesn't look like there is a way to see previous callers like that, so that's a dead end, I'm afraid. AB, how do I know this is diet? Uh, I don't know. Lenny said give that to you. Lena, <laughs> it tastes she, it. It tastes like normal. It tastes like it might be, but that's the magic of Baja Blast. It tastes like beef jerky. <laughs> they like messed up our order significantly. Are you? Did we get enough food? Because I I literally am full from this quesadilla. You want food? I think we're good. I think we have enough. I Wait, have I have I'm a chilling. ton. Of I got food. my stuff. They forgot my shit, but did, AB gave they me forgot it. the Shumpa Loompa again? I'm yeah. telling you, yeah. <laughs> they, they, they must hate making They those. fuck around with the Shumpa Loompas. They're hard to come by. So wait, what did we miss? What did they fuck up? Oh, well, AB gave me one of his chicken, whatever the fuck. Okay. Um, yeah, thank you. Uh, but they missed my crunch wrap, and I got a Shumpa Loompa too. Oh, see, wow. So, That's exactly so two what Shumpa Loompas and a crunch wrap are missing. Yeah. Just lost in lost the, the time, time dude. dude. Oblivion, dude. And AB, up. what did you what did you miss out on? Uh, no, mine. They had mine, but I I, I gave mine to that because one of them mine because I got extra on purpose because I felt like they were gonna do that. Uh, I swear. That's what I do. Okay, yeah. guys, I have a two tacos and a burrito here. If anybody wants it, please, 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 please take it. I'm not gonna eat this shit. Okay. Very generous. Thank you. Very generous. Of you. Chumpa loompa loompa di do. do. What oh, if minute. the driver forgets about you? Chupa loopa dupa da di. Oh man. There was a girl over the weekend who slapped Fuzzy in the face on live stream. And he started singing that song in response. And it was the. F I'm sorry, I had to walk away because it was so fucking funny. <laughs> it wasn't right, but it was just the situation was Wait, just. Wait, why was insane. he caught? Was she short? Why was, why was I, he. I, I don't know. I think he's. I couldn't tell from streaming. Go yeah, ahead, I guess Zach. Short. Please, by all means, enjoy. You're welcome. Alexa Nicholas might know her. Is that right? Is there a connection? Can we? Does Alexa Nicholas have tea on the the Lovatos? <laughs> I can ask. Somebody just posted that. Wow. She's going in on Twitter right now on Justin Long. Keep my oh, eye on give that. Me, give me, I want to read it. You want to see? Yeah. I like shitting on Justin Long. I don't know why. Because she has, her show is like daily. I'm sick of that fucking guy trying to sell me Max all, like my whole childhood. <laughs> it's not Here's happening, the... Justin. Stop ma trying to make it happen. Now I Here's do Here's like one of her tweet threads. Chumpa, loompa, doompa da di. Justin Long has a minor problem. Ooh. Dude, she really is spicy. Mm-hmm. A quote from Ashton Kutcher, not me. Really? Check out my live tonight. 
for more context. Yeah, I'm gonna Here, give you more context. There's on that. also this. I'll send it to you. Jason Long. Justin. <laughs> you did that last time too. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. Sorry, apologies to Jason Long. I mean, it sounds like he kind of sucks, so. Justin Long, hey bro, remember me? Quick question, what is wrong with you? Hmm. So I'd be adopting you. Wouldn't your own daddy be insulted? DMs from Justin Long to a 15-year-old girl. What the fuck is this? In 2019, I see your little blue dick check mark. I see your little blue dick check mark. I mean, say no more about, about Justin Long. That Ashton Kutcher clip from Punk is like... That was crazy. GG forever. Hmm? She also commented on that. Wow, you knew she was a fan of you on Disney. Barf emoji. <clears throat> she also posted at Justin Long TikTok. Jesus. <laughs> Alright, what else we got? We got, um, as we round out the show here... We have a TikTok plastic surgeon who's dancing while his, uh, I think their, par their patients are uh, not euthanized. Uh, they'd be uh, not euthanized. They'd be butchered. <laughs> under. Oh, put under. Um, What's it called? Anesthesia. Anesthesiaized? <laughs> Euthanized would mean they're dead. Right, right. That's to put down. Um, and so they're Ooh. dancing as <laughs> as their <laughs> as their clients are euthanized on the table. <laughs> or do you guys want to talk about the whistleblower confirms aliens? These are the two options we have. Anybody want to pick? What was the non-alien one again? The TikTok plastic surgeon lo lost her license for making TikToks while her patients were. Let's do out. that, because the alien thing is kind of bunk, so I feel like that this will be more entertaining. You feel the alien thing has already been debunked? There's nothing to debunk. It's just a dude who came in and said, that, like, yeah, we got aliens. Tr well, you, source, trust me, bro. You guys know how I feel about this stuff. Anesthesiized. Thank you, guys. Euthanized and anesthesiized. Pick one or the other. It's the same. It's the same thing, except one person wakes up, one doesn't. Let's do a, um, let's do a poll. I, I'm a man of the people after all. TikTok, doctor, or aliens? TikTok is our home. You guys decide. I'm not, uh... Chumpa, loompa, doompa da di. Where the fuck is my food? You owe it to me. <laughs> all right. TikTok doctor, uh, let's see. TikTok doctor, doctor's in the lead, 57%. Alien folks, get your vote in. Now's the time, 43% aliens. No. 56% <laughs> no. doctor. No, no, no. Get your votes in, alien people. 45% alien, it's narrowing. This could go either way, but it's looking doctor. 56%, I think the TikTok doctor just went up, which pretty much no, no. is going to be a dub for the doctors and an L for the aliens. Uh, spoiler alert, there's, there's no aliens. This, You know what I mean? Stupid. Dumb. No fucking aliens. There's no bodies. Stop it. Alright, so TikTok doctor, let's take a look. Plastic surgeon, known on TikTok as Dr. Roxy, has been banned from practicing medicine in Ohio after authorities determined that she injured patients while live streaming their procedures to hundreds of thousands of viewers. <laughs> Wait, that sounds like a crime. Yeah. See. I, I, you know what I mean? Like, like removing her license, I don't think goes far enough. The State Medical Board of Ohio permanently revoked the medical license of Catherine Roxanne Grau Roxanne. and fined her 4,500. That's it? For failing to meet the standard of care. Three patients reported having severe complications after Grau operated on them. <laughs> the board found that while Grau was performing surgeries, she live streamed parts of her patients' procedures on TikTok, spoke into the camera, and answered viewer questions. 
from her more than 825,000 followers. Dude, that's nuts. Her TikTok seems to be deactivated or deleted. So let's see if we can dig up some of her videos. Nope. Our Instagram deleted too, yeah. I mean, that makes sense. It's like... Okay, here it is. Oh, this lady is crazy. <laughs> I gotta mute this, obviously. So here she is basically dabbing on the graves of her patients. Let's go. <laughs> over multiple clips. <laughs> Girl, you went to medical school? <laughs> Roxy. <laughs> Fucking cool. Oh, this is like a meme? Who's yeah, that guy? Is a meme. Who the fuck are like you, stitches. dude? Because this is she? just a stitch, because the account's gone, yeah. so all that exists. We right. don't have any... The stitches. We don't have Believe any... Believe it or not, no, I, could, I was surprised I cannot find any of her lives. A bunch of Seriously? stitches. Seriously? Yeah. That's not fun. That's Foxy. less fun. Uh, t Growl44 told the Post that she was obviously devastated over her patient's complications, but maintained that live streaming the surgery that TikTok used did not affect the procedure. What about it being, like, unethical? She also accused the medical board of bullying her during her suspension. Aw, poor Dr. Grau. Aw, oh, I'm bullied. Oh, no. Grau built up a considerable social media following on TikTok. Well, she can open, like, a black... Uh... Like, a black market doctor unit in, like... Tijuana. Cheapo deals. Cheap, cheap. Those jobs on the cheap, cheap with Dr. Grau. Um, she built up a considerable following, started live streaming parts of her patients' surgeries to help demystify the secrecy around surgeries. Yeah, I don't think it's a secret. I am! You can easily find out what they're doing, you know what I mean? <laughs> There's like crazy infographs. Uh, the Ohio board warned Grau about live streaming her surgery in 2018 and 2021, but she continued doing it. Legend. Arnold said that many patients went to her because of her TikTok presence. Three cases she set were cited by the board were live streamed between December 2020 and March 2022. Grau performed a liposuction and a Brazilian butt lift on a patient who suffered severe abdominal pain and cramping. And a year later, another patient was hospitalized for an infection that required her breast implants be removed. Now, I know this stuff happens, though. When it's you're doing a ton of plastic surgery, that's why they have like, they have all kinds of insurances and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, I don't think the problem is that some surgeries went sideways. I think it's that she was live streaming, no? Yeah, you could probably make an argument that wasn't giving her work full attention. Here she Seems is. pretty important in like surgery. This is her. Physician known as Dr. Roxy. <laughs> there you go. She, she got blood on her fingers. Yeah. So this is the following. footage of like. So if you want to get in the OR and see behind the scenes and how this stuff works. But now, Dr. Roxy, whose wow. real name is Catherine Grawy, has been. <laughs> she may have had. Stripped of her. You life. know, somewhat of a good intent here, but this is. Unbelievably I don't stupid. think she had a good intent. It seems like well, she, just, she just wants attention. She wants to herself. demystify surgery, dude. What does that even mean? Demystifying it. Yeah, I don't know. I, li I prefer it mystified. Yeah, keep that shit. You know what I mean? Vague. I go to sleep, I wake up, it's done. <laughs> That's why you go to school for 12 years and I don't do shit. Right. Since by the state medical board in Ohio, Kelsey Cardenas nah. went to Dr. Roxy. <laughs> For a breast lift. She live streamed your surgery. She did. Do you feel that that could have contributed to what happened? Do you think she wasn't paying attention? Rewatching it, I saw a couple cuts that she made when she was clearly talking to the camera or focused on what she was saying to them. Okay, what are you, a doctor now? <laughs> What's your credentials to... <laughs> I will say, the cut. Uh, I, I gotta say, if someone botches a surgery of mine, I would wish it was recorded. That's true. I'd assume it's easier to sue if you have video proof of them botching Oh, it. well, that's interesting. Yeah, I mean... So, I'm kind of I'm kind of pro... Really dumb. I'm kind of pro TikTok. Uh, yeah. Every surgeons doctor need body be... cams like cops. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, that's mm -hmm. smart. That's awesome. We trust <laughs> nobody. 
She's the famous physician known as Dr. Roxy. What a dumbass. <laughs> That is pretty wild. Just imagining the time and effort it takes to go through medical school, do your residency, pay hundreds of thousands of dollars. Right. Just to lose it all for that. Moron. For a drop of clout? I wonder what she's doing now. Who wants to lose some money today? <laughs> I'm, I'm cool with the black market, Dr. Roxy. You probably couldn't open that in America, but Tijuana... Maybe on black. the border, like a border Oh, there's town a black market Texas. medical industry in here, too, I'm sure. Black market medical? Yeah. But could black. you live stream it? Um, that would probably be inadvisable, given the history, but I guess there's nothing to really stop her, no. Because if she goes to Tijuana, she might be able to live stream it. Right. Who's going to stop her? The cartel? Somebody stop me! <laughs> Oh man, is there any more footage of her? I've lived for that. Uh, I'm seeing when I was going through YouTube, it's mostly just the same set of footage. It seems like yeah. the ones we've seen were the ones that were preserved. Hey, um, you are. Wait, what does that mean? Uh, Mr. Beast is allegedly suing Ghost Kitchen Partners over Mr. Beast Burger. What? And he, he cites me as an example? You're one of the videos listed. <laughs> oh, there's... Wait, how, whoa, whoa, I want to review all the ones whoa. he did. So he's suing... Who, so who's he suing? Uh, I'm just finding it right now. I'm looking into it. Um, Look at my fat ass with that hamburger. They closed down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember he announced he was winding it down. Okay, okay, wait. He's now suing I, his partner, Virtual Dining Concepts. Allegedly. Mm. Okay, this I'm really interested in. Mr. Beast is suing his ghost kitchen partner over inedible Mr. Beast burgers. <laughs> He's suing them? These are the people that tried to make a, a ghost kitchen with me. And I said, fuck, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> because I, because I saw what a disaster Beast Burger was. I was like, I'm not, it's just going to be shit. I recreated Willy Wonka's taco. We are currently surrounded by countless sharks. <laughs> Mr. B partnered with Virtual Dining Concepts to make branded food items. Fans have described Mr. B's burger as revolting, disgusting, and so nasty. YouTube personality Mr. Beast is suing the company responsible for the branded line of fast food, including the Mr. Beast burger, citing inedible food delivers, the deliveries to customers. The company, Virtual Dining Concepts, partnered with James Donaldson, a.k.a. Mr. Beast, in 2020 to launch the menu out of a ghost kitchen. Storefronts that have no physical presence, whose food is made and served out of other existing restaurants. I mean, who would have guessed that this would be a terrible idea? <laughs> wait, wait, what the fuck is this? Yeah. Uh, we showed a bunch of those. Oh, yeah. I, I don't think I ever saw this one. No, we did. We showed, there's a bunch more. Dude. It's disgusting. Who cooked this? No one cooked it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, oh my no god, one. that is vile. Problem. Yeah, that's fucked. Holy fuck. I wonder, I wonder about this lawsuit though, because it's like you kind of got in bed with incompetent dummy concept. Here's a concept, anybody could cook this food anywhere in the country. Do they need credentials? No. Do they need a restaurant? No. Awesome. Donaldson's lawsuit alleges that Virtual Dining Concepts was more concerned with expanding the line than quality control. As a result, Mr. Beast Burger has been regarded as misleading, poor reflection on Mr. Beast brand, provides low quality products, yada, yada, yada. That being said, he has been promoting the fuck out of it until like even like a month ago. Mm. Like I, I, I watched all of his videos and it's always like it's the time for dinner. Bring out the Mr. Beast burger. Ah, true. Right? Any yeah, you watch his here? videos. I'll take your word for it. <clears throat> It'd be awesome if one of the contestants got like food poisoning. <laughs> it's like, yo, this shit's raw. <laughs> Since 2020, Donaldson has used his online fame uh, to hype up a line of fast food. Yada yada yada. Virtual dining didn't uh, respond. Yeah, Mr. Beast announced that he would be stepping away from Mr. Beast Burger in June. So, not long ago. Well, yeah. every, everyone was like, finally, man. 
So here's the lawsuit. I fucking love that, dude. I'm in this shit. Let's see. Before June, it was his last tweet about it was September. Let's take a look. So here's the complaint. When Joe Dim are you serious? Look at how this starts. When Joe DiMaggio was asked why he hustled on every play of every game, he responded that there's always a kid who may be seeing me for the first time. I owe him my best. This encapsulates the philosophy that is one of the most accomplished and prolific online content creators in the world, Jimmy Donaldson. Bro, really? <laughs> Nature, dude, lawyers are out of control sometimes with these briefs. <laughs> Joe DiMaggio? I mean, then why did you keep working with them for years? Go to Joe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is pretty great. So, well, that sucks. Finally ordered our first Mr. Beast burger and then realized after the first bite that it was mostly just raw meat. Fuck. I just don't understand how you can hold them accountable when, like, you're outsourcing to just a bunch of random fucking weirdos. We're trying to find the rawest of the raw. Like, dude literally doesn't know how to cook a burger. Let's see. Wait, I was seeing. Scroll back up. What was one of these quotes? I just saw in all caps, how could you do this to me, Jimmy? Equally disturbing, many customers believe that Mr. Beast is personally responsible for this mess, as evidenced by statements such as, how could you do this to me, Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> to me, uh, that's giving me calf calf lawsuit. <laughs> uh... There was one review that said, Ryan Kavanaugh's a fat bitch on Triller. <laughs> Ethan Klein is responsible for that. <laughs> okay, here, let's more, more, uh... This is really an interesting lawsuit. I'm not sure about how I feel it's gonna go. To be fair, I'm not familiar with any details, though. Where's the, um... It's in the second part, so it has to... If you go back out... Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. This is... Right is this just supplemental? Yeah, it's supplemental. Exhibit B. Oh, these are the exhibits. Yeah, okay. it's number five, page five. Let's see. YouTube reviews. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> not, not our boy. Eddie. Taking the number one spot. <laughs> the deceptive world of ghost kitchens. You know, I remember his review of Beast Burger being not that bad. I m remember he was, like, pleasantly surprised that it wasn't, like, a nightmare. Hmm. Mr. Yeah, it was Beast like number one on YouTube trending, the Eddie's video. I think that's uh, why you put it first. We're number three. Let's fucking go right now, dude. <laughs> could y'all could have captured? Could you guys please grab a better <laughs> image? <laughs> why? Why have you done this? <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at the reveal. It's a powerful frame. Thanks, lawyers. Wait. The, the URL doesn't work? What kind of dumb shit is this? Three. It's a highlight. Could probably find it quick. It should work. Three. They didn't link to it. Do these ones work? Hmm. Hmm. Trying the worst restaurants in LA. There's the clip. Go look for the clip. Mr. Beast Burger is gross. <laughs> Mr. Beast Burger is a disaster. Underwhelming Mr. Beast Burger. I mean, I hate to say it, but y'all should have canceled this partnership years ago. If it was obviously not working out. Mr. Beast Burger, raw patty. Dude, I cannot believe the amount of raw food people are getting. Raw. Oh. Raw. Well, they got 85 pages of this shit. Jesus. Oh, and we're now, see, now they're going... Meticulously argued document. <laughs> now they're going a little bit down. Sad that Mr. Beast would put his name on this. This is a one-star review, guys. So disappointing. Fries were supposedly seasoned, but tasted like soggy bland fries straight from the freezer section. Nashville hot spicy chicken sandwiches was nothing like the picture. No spice. and was poorly put together. Dude, what the fuck? Why are you including that? Yeah, that shit, like... Desperate, weird shit. Yeah, that's weird. Like, uncooked meat is, like, dangerous. Like, that, that... If, if you have reports of people saying, like, hey, I got a burger and it was, like, basically raw, that, to me, seems, like, compelling. Call it off. Right, but, but like, uh, it was not enough salt. It's like, that's not... 
<laughs> That's not actionable. I'm suing them. Not enough salt, <laughs> damn it. That bird, that picture, though, is What the crazy. fuck is this? <laughs> Looks like car roll. <laughs> no what shot. They, someone delivered that. <laughs> <laughs> Worst burger I've ever had. Patty was completely flat and looked like rubber. Tasted like rubber. I had to throw it in the bin. <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't think I've ever seen a burger that bad. No. <laughs> never. I feel like these ghost kitchen creators are just taking a piss at everyone. Just buying their shit. It's just. I think the ghost kitchen thing is like a dead meme at this point. Yeah. The only- I sometimes see them when I'm ordering from like Postmates. Or whatever and you can always tell which one's the ghost kitchen because it doesn't have real photos it's right. just like stock photo yep. of yeah yep. yeah and there's a bunch of them here I feel like look at like, this yeah, shit like dude them, yeah. you could die from that look at this raw chicken yeah, my dude, seven-year-old oh. ate into this ah. raw beast chicken sandwich oh. <laughs> you know you know what the bacteria infection you can get from that yeah Oh. This is why you don't outsource something as important as food. I mean, food is important, right? We fucking put it in our bodies. We gotta make sure that we know what's going on. You ever watch Bar Rescue? Like with John Taffer? John Taffer! Yeah, yeah. Dude, that, John they Taffer. need John Taffer in here to fuck some shit up in those fucking ghost kitchens. For sure. There's a lot of raw chicken. There's just three of them. Dude, yeah, that's, uh, Taffer would- Ew, four! Uh, Look at that uh, shit, yeah. dude. Disgusting. Ah, it's so vile. No. <laughs> TikTok reviews. The way he was holding that burger. <laughs> just fucking gripping into it, I think. Which one? Oh, no. That's such a sad realization. <laughs> that's tragic. It's like, I'm going to die. Yeah. Chicken tastes a little rubbery, huh? <laughs> yeah. And you know the chicken that. that comes from Beast Burger ain't in tip-top quality oh, shape. Oh, no. Okay, cool. Well, good luck, I guess. Maybe before the- No lawsuit. shot! Okay, I just got a breaking news. Demi Lovato's mom follows the quartering <laughs> on Twitter. Yes, she does. I just checked. So... I don't know what that what? means. <laughs> what? What does that mean? I don't know! Any She's other a, at least aware of this sphere, you know? Why do you care? It, you have to admit that's a little strange, right, Jeremy? Interesting. Oh, I have never tried this Dorito one. All I right. am her biggest fan. Let me try this Dorito shit. I'm not long for this planet. <laughs> I love that you just have all, all these sound bites of I'm Jeremy 40, just talking I'm about dying. I'm sweaty. I'm fat. I'm overweight. I'm not, I would genuinely like to know why she's following the quartering. Shit in myself. Well, she's probably conservative. You know, even then. <laughs> even then, yeah, I mean, I guess that's true. Like, imagine watching his videos video. as an adult. Like, just to open any of his videos. The quartering. It's but just such a disaster. I'd be down on my knees. First of all, the thumbnail. Wait, right, he... He had videos criticizing Demi. Does Demi's mom hate... Demi? Her daughter? I don't think so. <laughs> She's okay, in her documentaries. Yeah, I know... Look, you have a video, Demi Lovato is, uh... Uh, Demi Lovato is trash. Someone needs to tell Demi's mom so that she can call in. So maybe Demi talk is to the on our side. About it. If she hates, or no, Demi's mom is on our side. If she hates Demi, look. No matter how you feel, Demi's mom, you gotta stop following Quarter. Cover. Yeah. It's making you look bad either way. Just, Imagine a full-grown woman bad. clicking this thumbnail, right? And then watching this Can video. You stream your break. Not this. this look at this also shit. Protected by fair use. There what is, is this, dude? The framing, the face, the man, the way he talks. Dumb. Streamers Hassan and XQC destroyed for lazy re and pff, fucking quartering talking about lazy content. Give me uh, a fucking in the break. Drain. <laughs> My name's Jeremy. My channel's called My name's Jeremy. Who wants to do claw machines? Let's see. Has he done a Dylan Mulvaney video today? I've been, uh... Well, there's a trans video from three hours ago. Dylan Mulvaney blasted again. Second row. Is that from today? No shot, still. Oh, that oh one's three days ago. Yeah, I've been periodically checking in. I actually stopped the count because it got so high. Three at, days ago. At, at last count, he was up to, like, 60-plus. How uh, can you shut that, the it, fuck up? And that was over a month <laughs> ago, dude, and he's still doing it pretty much daily. Talking well, about Bud view, Light. Yeah, and the views are decent. I mean, look. I mean, he knows his audience, right? Dylan Mulvaney roasted after insane speaking fee revealed. Okay, God forbid she make money. 
I have nearly 50 videos on the web. Trans people aren't allowed to make money. Hell no. Breaking news. I mean, it's pretty funny just to fucking scroll through these. Demi Lovato's mom watches this, apparently. <laughs> Trans rugby player puts three women on stretcher in single game. Team calls the cops to defend it. I'm sure that's exactly what happened. Yep. Bud Light just purged everyone. Yo, she's, he's still doing Brie Larson videos. Oh, of course. How? What, she's not even doing anything. I think there's, yeah, there's a new Marvel movie with her coming out. Look, he got, but this one got him half a million views. That's nuts. That's like his most viewed video when he oh, talks yeah. about Brie Larson. Mm hmm. What? Why do they care about Brie Larson? I wonder if he's still got the shed. <laughs> Look at Tom Hanks. What did he do to his face? Wait, that's not Tom Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Dylan not... Mulvaney six days ago. Uh huh. Bud Light ruthlessly mocked for new ad. Bud Light sinking. Here's another Dylan Mulvaney. Mm hmm. Dylan Mulvaney begging for work from woke colleagues. And then when she gets work, it's like, look how much she got paid. <laughs> Here's another one. That's, this is what this is genuine. I wasn't exaggerating. It's pretty much daily, daily upload. Bud Light under investigation after Ron DeSantis blast them. Damn. I mean, what the? Here's another one. <laughs> New app detects woke. <laughs> this is like a visual realize. This is like a visual representation of paranoid paranoid personality disorder. <laughs> like this is a personality disorder in. Distilled into visual uh, thumbnails still fire though Dude best thumbs in the game We gotta get no offense game Without his thumbnail artist, he'd be nothing. I, I mean, agree. I, I emulated it that one time. <laughs> yeah, ago. you did. Yeah, it looked good <laughs> Fuck me man, there's the courting shout out Demi Lovato's mom shout out uh, Did Ela get her food Lena? Yeah, she did she did? Okay, cool. All right, well, that's about it. That's it. This food is so soggy that I can't really rate it. I can't rate it. Let's see. Other tacos supreme? Take a look here. Not that good. It's soggy as shit. Damn. Inedible. Damn. Damn. Well, look at my arms jiggle. Still got some work to do. <laughs> there it is. There it is, people. All right. Um, is there a uh, members stream tomorrow? Or do I recall that you had okay, so something going on tomorrow? I have a doctor. Tomorrow I'm doing the blood test to see if what's the deal. Uh-huh. And then I have a call. Let me let me see if I if we can work it in. So, tomorrow I got the blood test. I'm getting my hair cut tomorrow. I also have a call with my psychiatrist. <laughs> you got a lot going on. My friend. Would you guys be upset if I didn't do a show tomorrow? To be fair, I was supposed to get a- I was supposed to miss last week's, but still did it. Right. That is true. Um, so, probably not. I'm sorry, guys. It's just a pretty busy day. Fousey tube. People are saying check Fousey. What's going on? Hi. We're Visible. The wireless company that makes things- Fousey tube. Shredder, you cannot have Taco Bell, man. No so chance. That's the last thing you need, brother. We are here for vibes. Freddy, I'm so sorry. You'll have to eat when we get home. God, the, the commercials on Twitch are nuts. Piece of shit. I wish we had commercials like this. It's like a two-minute unskippable. And it's burned in. You can't even, like, get rid of it with adblock. All right, what's this? Okay, this is interesting. All right, buddy. He gave this guy his phone? 
Never give up the mic. That's 101 okay. broadcasting. No problem, bro. Got it. All right. Sounds good, bro. Appreciate you. Wait, where's right, Fusi? When Fusi looks different to, uh, today. Huh. Cannabis shop. Really, really, really. I guess they want to get some more cannabis slash marijuana. <laughs> Someone just pinned yeah. AB's on the podcast. He can't right now. I don't know what that means. AB has the answer. I don't know. Uh, maybe. Oh, I think they want me to call him. Call him. Let's see what's going on. And check in on our boy. I love this game. What's Fusi doing? Oh, he passed 30k. This is very mysterious content right now. Yeah. I think this is the guy. So over the weekend, he set up like a GoFundMe for someone in Chicago who I needed the help. Abby's on the phone with Fusi right now. Uh, he, Ethan, he, uh, Ethan suggested I call you, check on you, because the chat was telling me I should. We're live right now. Is he now. talking to his mic? I don't have you on. I don't, have, I don't have you on speaker or anything. You gotta, you, we gotta get the mic going. We're here, AB. Is his mic open, Dan? Uh, he, he's having a private conversation with him first before. He says, people are worried about you. Do you want to say anything? I heard AB do an, an audible uh, exhale of disappointment or something. He says, I'll call you after the show. Where is he? What's happened? What did he say, AB? Uh, he said that he just, not to worry about him. He's all right. He just needed a breather. It's just been a lot of strain on him. So what is this? What am I watching right now? So he has uh, a gen gentleman named Nadim holding the camera right now, uh, who's a friend of his. Actually, he said uh, he's going to send me Nadim's number so he can let chat know that he's all right. He just needs a breather. So he just mysteriously disappeared and gave these guys his phone? There's a new pin message to AB. AB Foos just left Vivid. We got to find him. That's the pin comment from one of his mods. He says they don't know where the fuck he is. Oh, he's fine. We talked to him. He's good. Yeah, he's good. We found him, guys. Mystery solved. But yeah, don't don't burn out on this shit, bro. You know what I mean? You don't have to stay on 24-7. Yeah. Just when you're doing something cool. I agree. Yeah, it is a lot. Which you do a lot, right? You do a lot of cool stuff. You found ways to make it uh, fun and interesting. He's, so, he did his month. You know what I mean? He did 31 days. I think that's more than enough. Well, also, it's not going to be worth it if he's like... Yeah. If you're losing it, then what's it all for? Right. All right, Fusi. Let me see what these guys are talking about before we go. He's here for a purpose, right? Exactly. This is his purpose. Uh -huh. To use his voice. Okay. There it is, guys. People are clapping. Wait. Somebody said that Lovatos are live on TikTok, I right? checked. Um, the, yes, uh, Madison and their mom are live, like, making brownies. <laughs> and the comments are saying, like, H3, Sasha. Can we open it? We gotta um, watch I that. did open it. They aren't talking about. They're not reading chat. It looks like they're not. I want to hear them talk though. Okay. Oh shit. It's Dallas they and are the mom. No, it's Madison and the mom. Oh shit. They I are playing Dallas. music though. Okay, so that's not good. All right, guys, listen up. We had a great Monday episode. We've we've done so much together. We've had uh, the joys of announcing uh, we're having another baby. That's right. The tragedy uh, that is, um, I would, I didn't want to say, I mean, but it actually is very sad that uh, Angus. Angus Cloud. Angus Cloud. Talented young man. Yeah. And we've also had discoveries. We've had uh, thrills. The Lovatos have been outed as our mysterious caller. 
Sasha. Mm. Whoever you are. But yeah, guys, sorry I won't be live for members tomorrow. I need to go do a blood test and see what's the fucking deal. Do I have lupus? Do I have leukemia? I don't even like the joke, but like, I don't think I do. Because my anatiters high. I got that anatiter. So I want to say this. I'm not doing member stream tomorrow. Cause I might be dying or have autoimmune disease. I need to go see my hematologist to do some blood analysis to make sure my values haven't gone up. It's the hematologist. Making sure I'm not dying so I can do more shows for you. Seeing the hematologist. <coughs> and then I've got to get uh, imaging of my internal organs to make sure I don't have tumors inside of me. A lot of people say, hey, forget about it, it's nothing. But then I took a blood test and the anatiter was way out of control. It was way too high. <laughs> My white blood cells are elevated. My bloodlets are also up. It might be lupus. It might be... Nothing. Yeah. Oh, you ended it.